move. What the flip is up, my people of the world? Go. Go. July 11th, my, my, my. A beautiful summer day. Welcome, everybody, to the H3 podcast, the number 12 podcast in the world. That's right. According to the latest Edison poll. Mm. On our way up, though, for sure. Oh, yeah. Thanks for being here, everyone. Sorry I'm a little bit late today. You know, we all recovering from COVID, me, Ela, and Bruce, and then Theodore caught COVID on like Thursday or Friday, I think Friday, I don't remember. And so it was just a long weekend, man. Another long weekend. He's actually today finally feeling better. Oh, that's good to hear. Nice. Yeah. But he was back to his rum, rum, rambunctious self this morning. Okay. But the weekend was long, boy. God. Yeah, so we all got it now. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to attend. But all these guys went to Ace Fest, the long awaited. We did, we did. Now, did everyone, I know Lena didn't go. Were you there, Olivia? So everybody went. Everybody. Everybody but Lena. Yeah. Yeah, just not me. Wow. Mm-hmm. And well, I'll, I have, well, we have a whole report ready, and I don't want to spoil anything for you guys, but it's shocking. I'll say. Probably it's shocking. And let me just show you guys. We got a signed poster because you guys went to the meet and greet, right? Mm-hmm. And then this is a signed poster. Did they sign it in front of you or they hand it off? They hand it off, but periodically you can see them signing some. <laughs> okay, so so, yeah. so this is the real deal. Mm-hmm. It's legit. Now, what are you supposed to do with this? It's just a random family that you don't know. Hang random it up. as do you, fuck. Do you should, hang it? We should frame it and yeah. have it in the office. Did you ordered a frame. Oh, did you? <laughs> nice. That's what's up. There you go. Put that next to my trailer review. Mm-hmm. God. Yep. Damn, mama. <laughs> what? Uh, you know, it's funny. I don't know what's this detail on the wall, but it just looks like a folding crease. Doesn't oh, it? Yeah, it's not. But it's like a weird wall detail. No, it's totally, it's perfect condition. Huh. Blood boiling. Blood boiling. So there's that. And boy, I'm just so. Wait, did they give you this? Yeah. Yeah. What? That's expensive. One of these like fil- folders. Yeah, I mean, mm. VIP experience. This VIP thing is we beat. For so, so wait, did they hand? They just handed you this. It's outside of that, but yeah, it's it's on top. You're and and it in yourself. was there anything else in it? No. How much does one of these cost? These are these are not cheap. I'm being serious because I have a lot of experience ship sending stuff. Mm. This is a very hard vanilla folder or whatever you call it. I. I buy those and they're usually like a hundred bucks for maybe fifty of them or so. Hundred bucks for fifty. That's yeah, what I'm 50. saying. That's expensive. Two bucks pop. Yeah, okay. that's really okay. That's okay. impressive. Very impressive. But bef- anyway, that's coming up soon. But boy, I'm pretty excited about it. I gotta say, proud of all you guys who went out there to the pit of the fucking the seventh circle of hell known as Lancaster. That's right. Yep. <laughs> One oh five. Oh, thank you to thank you to HelloFresh, by the way, for sponsoring us. Go ahead, Zach. Sorry. I was just saying it was one hundred and five and windy. Nice and nice. Yes. So when it's one hundred and five, the wind isn't exactly refreshing. I would assume. (laughs) No, it is not. Yeah. Oh, I'm so excited, guys. You know, but before we get into that, there's just a few things at the top of the show I want to uh, mention. One being that this Thursday, July 14th, we are doing a 50% off every dang thing on the website, except for the Gentle Thrills one, which is the one that just came out. That'd be, you know. But everything else on the website, except for Gentle Thrills, every dang! Wow. Is 50% off. 714 this Thursday. The owners of Teddy Bears have lost their minds. Yeah, who are those guys? Oh, wow. The world has gone to shit, but at least you get 50% off everything at teddyfresh.com. <laughs> it's like a little, you know, th- tough times are hard. Mm-hmm. It's kind of messed up because, like, you have inflation, which is forcing all the prices up. It has affecting our company. Like, the price of cotton has gone up like a 1,000% or something crazy. Thanks Shipping Joe is Brandon. way up. Fuel is way up. Thanks, Joe Brandon. And um, 
and also I just feel like times are tough. So we said we want to, you know, give everyone an opportunity to hook themselves up now. Well, a little, <laughs> very nice. Yeah, yes. Thank We're you. at meme, okay. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for starting <laughs> July 14th. And I think we're going to do it for a week of 50% of everything. So there you have it. Wow. And of course, my huge plug was this. <laughs> <laughs> Did uh, anyone see this over the weekend? Oh, I saw it. All right. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately. Yeah. This, well, this was what I was up to all weekend, taking care of Theodore. <laughs> sick with COVID. And I was just next to him making TikToks. Howie posted a straight up prolapsed anus, bro on TikTok, it was nuts, man. It was crazy. And I, <laughs> so here's what happened. Um, this is the only, it's such a huge prolapse. I feel like you would think that this sale tag is too big, but it's not. It really covers just, just mm -hmm. the it's juicy parts. like all this. <laughs> yeah. So my question is, I, I don't know the context of this photo. Is this a prolapse of pleasure or a pro prolapse of medical? Because, no. like, I don't know, the the whole posture, like, how do you blow your ass through pants? Because his pants is ripped. I don't think it was. it's pleasurable by any No, I, um, I think it's a prolapse of pleasure. I think this what? is. This what are you is talking a, about? That's got to be horribly painful, doesn't but it? But why prolapse of pain? That is painful. Yeah. Absolutely. But Anal why sex. is there a giant rip and his asshole is just poking out of it? It <laughs> just seems sex. like a fetish kind of thing. I mean, it's I mean, definitely a fetish thing, yeah. Yeah, it seems like a I fetish. So. Yeah. Or the only other thing is, he looks like he's in wrestling pants, maybe, or like weightlifting. Maybe he busted through and then they had to cut <laughs> it open. Oh, maybe. Can, so, hey, I love. Can you do me a favor if you're comfortable? Can you reverse engine that <laughs> <laughs> that image and see the origin? Or whoever's comfortable with that. I don't want to force anyone to do I something. I mean, the origin is obvious, no? It's definitely some kind of a fetish poor <laughs> thing, no? Well, I said that and everyone thinks I'm crazy. What do you think he's like powerlifting and his like pants just bust open and he's fucking prolapsed anus? Well, it's himself? possible he There's prolapsed no and then and then the doctor had to cut the Mm. Like a okay. bullet wound, you know how they cut your yeah, shirt. Just cut it open. Right. Get, Good point. Good get point. access to it quickly. But then, what's with the photo? I'm gonna I'm exactly. eat your ass. Ah, that's a good point. Why would you? It, to me, that? it's a prolapse of pleasure. Mm. I wish I could show you guys. Obviously, it's so inappropriate, <laughs> which is why it was so funny. But like, it's huge, man, and it's like purple and gnarly, and it looks like a. Oh. It's like a busted out flashlight, dude. So gnarly. Also, I, I love how uh, how he's wearing an Ellen shirt. <laughs> but here's why it's so specifically pretty interesting that it's Howie. You know, I did his podcast recently, and he's so sensitive. He's so PC. He's so clean. And yet here he is on TikTok posting fucking the most horrific shit <laughs> anyone's seen. It was up for like seven hours, had three million views. God. What he said was, um, do we have a censored yep. one where you can watch? By the way, yeah. I, okay. I put up a poll asking the audience if it's pain or pleasure, and it's literally 50-50. <laughs> exactly 50-50. Oh, it just ticked to 49-51. To me, I just it's don't... A split. I, I don't know. I think it's got to be a, a pleasure prolapse. Anyone see? I just don't understand how you could get into this situation on accident. Yeah. You make a good point of like why does the photograph exist yeah like, if it's it a if it's a medical thing who's going back there and snapping a photo right sex because there's this thing oh. and the, like i was listening to howard stern and there's this thing called fist fest mm -hmm, right yeah. where they literally it's they fist they fist each other and what they love is what they call like a red rose and i'm sorry this is so gross but sex. they get off on the prolapsing of the anus and like the inside, how it's red and shit, and they they love that. It's called fist fest, and so I'm thinking that this might have something to do with that. Okay, mm. well, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe I was just unaware of this uh, <laughs> corner of because uh... it just looks like. <sighs> yeah, bro. I I don't know. Someone's <laughs> saying it's both. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> I look over well, I'm... at AB's computer, and he's just got a wall Dude. of prolapse. Oh, are you trying to find my... the origin of it? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of prolapse anuses, not the correct. <laughs> oh, 
no. Jesus, good oh, man, AB. No. You're a good man. Oh, yeah, oh I'm not finding Lord. it either. Oh, I'm like that's horrific. Through oh, yeah, you're fucking I can't look over there. Work. I can't look over there. You find anything interesting? Uh, that's one way to put it, but not <laughs> related to what we're right. Uh, yeah, it's a lot. I'm just saying, I'm, but I'm not showing you guys anything. So you know, Dude, we're almost up to ten thousand votes, and it's still exactly fifty fifty. Well, I, okay, I know it's painful, right? Obviously, but I'm saying, was this an accident or not? Let's put it that yeah, way. Yeah. Was oh. it an accident? I don't think so. Right. I think this is by a prolapse by design. Okay. I may have found, you found the, the origin. origin. Okay. What did you? What do you got? Um, it's Anal what sex. could happen to your? Well. They have the same image, and it says uh, it's an example of what could happen to your anus when you uh, lift too much, oh. and uh, the effects it could have on your colon. And that's definitely how he's photo. Okay, because he is wearing a weightlifting kind of outfit, but you could blast your asshole out like that just from lifting weights. That seems kind of dramatic. Is that possible? Can you what prolapse from lifting weights? Another reason uh, yeah. not to exercise. According to what AB just posted, severe workout can cause prolapse. Men may risk rectal prolapse. Women may risk vaginal or rectal prolapse. Damn. Vaginal prolapse? That all just comes Whoa. out of you. That's what I'm saying, guys. Exercise is bullshit, bro. People <laughs> just walking around prolapsing their assholes. <laughs> I'm not prolapsing my ass sitting and playing Skyrim. I'll tell you that. Let's... You're muted. Yes, they're ripped wide open. Actually, and I'll be honest with you, the rip was like, there was no loose fabric. It was like a clean, taut rip all the way around here. Yeah, Do you know, there wasn't any circular. loose fabric, which makes me think maybe, I don't know, maybe it wasn't cut because it's spandex and it's busted wide. Busted wide open. I don't know, man. But okay, interesting. There you have it. Right out my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Yeah, there it is. Oh, but anyway, no. um I started um duetting it on TikTok because I thought it was fucking <laughs> incredible, man. <laughs> I did like three duets. <laughs> I think I'm the reason how we it finally got removed because you're right. my account has some kind of like extreme content filter where if i post a video i can't and i try to share it show it to the guys immediately it will say this you can't share it this is under review <laughs> every time i post the thing so there's some kind of thing that makes it get reviewed before and so i made like three or four duets to this two of them got um graphic image warning and then eventually one of them got removed for community guidelines uh, violation and then I went to Howie's and then that one was also removed <laughs> so I think it was me Delete. I was Delete. having too much fun with it damn. damn 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 oh they all had COVID warnings yeah because he goes here let me see I'll play you guys the whole thing this this was so incredible oh see I think I think Over death noodle shows too much Does somebody know like you could see shit stain on his pants <laughs> well you maybe just play the audio then because we they saw the the picture. You see what I'm saying that. though? He showed too damn much. We were kind of debating that earlier. I thought I thought it was It's a lot. But yeah. Well, well here, here's what delete. he says. When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. Does somebody know is this COVID related? And if it is, what do we do about it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny, but you can't <laughs> post a prolapse anus, man, on TikTok. And Howie Mandel of all people. Of all people. Oh, so I did one where I was like, just like the prolapse was on the top and then I was on the bottom like playing a game where you have to catch, like a cat is trying to catch yarn or something. And then I did one where I was wearing glasses and they were in the reflection of the glasses. And I still wonder if I might be able to post that one just because it's pretty subtle. But I don't know. I don't want to get banned over this shit. Because yeah. I know I'm I'm right on the edge, man, on TikTok, man. <laughs> so Oh, okay. AB says apparently the anus belongs to a champion weightlifter. You got more details it was, on that? Maybe it was. Actually, I found some more information on that, and that is apparently a myth. 
and it's been proven to be false by oh. this one website, snoops.com. Is this oh, waitlisted that's legit. with a prolapse rectum reel? And it says, false. A big uh, lie. And they say, uh, no such injury has been uh, described to occur at one at any weightlifting competition. Uh, no, the image is real, but it's not yeah, from weightlifting. Yeah, right. So this well, has to be a that would make this video even yes. funnier than I'm watching because it's like very serious. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, I saw that video too. Yeah, I'm sure you can get some injury down there, but to this extent, it seems kind of nuts. But anyway, um, my favorite was the glasses, and I'm maybe we can upload that for for members or something. Yeah, I can put them behind the scenes. <laughs> Or what? I, I don't know if that would get it. That might actually get us a strike. I don't think we can put it anywhere on YouTube. <laughs> it's such a shame. What about Instagram stories? You think I get busted for putting it there? Yeah. Fuck, yeah. man. It's <laughs> fucked up. I can't share my 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 art Comedic. with you guys anywhere. <laughs> Discord members. Discord. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> no. Even we're getting no's on that one. Up yours, woke. Moralist. People are saying, "Is this real?" Yes, this is real. It had, and there's now a whole ecosystem of people with PTSD being like, "Did anyone else see <laughs> the prolapsed anus on Howie's TikTok?" People saying Twitter. Yeah, I mean, Twitter doesn't really give a shit. Oh my god, we could post that post on Twitter right now. God. Wait, so wait, if you guys want to see it, here I have the original. I have all of them. <laughs> Let me. Let me send you guys all of them, and then you can post them oh, to Lord. Twitter. This is great. So here's the original. <laughs> Twitter's a rat hole. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, you're just mad because you got fucking suspended, bitch. We'll see who cancels who. So here's two. Here they are. Here they are. Okay, I sent both of them in the podcast chat. So now if you guys really want to see this shit, boy. What, have you got that? Oh, damn, yeah. dude. That looks so fucked up. There, I'm in trouble again. Make sure you put the content. <laughs> oh, yeah, like not safe the, for life for now. Yeah, the, where it blurs it. Wait, have you not seen it, Olivia? Oh. You hadn't seen it? <laughs> yeah, but. Oh, no. <laughs> just, but just imagine you're like, you following Howie Mandel, the, the judge from. America's, America's got, got talent. talent. You're maybe like 12 years old. You're new. <laughs> you're just a TikTok kid. And how he's dropping fucking prolapsed anuses, dude. <laughs> Let's uh, go. Y'all best be on Twitter right now checking that shit out. Yo, uh, Busted Pussy uh, just gave 50 uh, memberships. Dude, thank you, dude. Busted Pussy. Wait, I don't see it. It happened a minute ago. It probably got scrolled up already. Oh, let me think. Busted Pussy. Is this the same guy? That I just think keeps... so. I think so. Dude, it's our Saudi prince. Our yeah, Saudi I think so. Actor. Busted Blissy. Thank you, my dude. Appreciate that. Mm-hmm. As a gym owner, I'll tell you, it can't happen, but you can absolutely, absolutely poo yourself on a bad day, Haley Glass said. Hmm. That, I believe. Yeah, that makes more sense. I pooped my pants. A busted bussy. I'm not seeing the NSW tag. How come it's not showing up? There's one, there's an option to post it with the... Maybe on, f on phones only. I'll try to do it on my phone. Yeah, maybe try on your phone. Duty. <laughs> Duty. Anyway, so that was really exciting over the weekend. It lifted my spirits. I had a really hard, long weekend, but certainly lifted my spirits. That's good. Um, <laughs> let me play the audio. I still haven't done that for you guys. Of the Howie thing? Yeah. Yeah, you did. Friend Neil. Oh, you're right, I did. Went over, this happened. Yeah. Is this what are, related to what COVID? Are, what are we going to do about it? Newsweek even wrote an article. I think Howie's scared now because he's so scared of controversy. I texted him because, you know, we're tight now. Yeah. I said, yo, bro, I love the prolapse anus, Howie. Hottest TikTok of the year. Crickets from him. <laughs> no comment. No comment from Howie. Well, he's also uploading TikTok still. Yeah, so he didn't even get punished, which is interesting. That's that. I didn't know. I... Wait, wait. Is, is he talking about it? No, no. That's, that oh, video is not related. I would kill for that. Yeah. Howie Mandel just traumatized an entire generation of kids with one TikTok. <laughs> is Howie Mandel in his sane mind right now? That TikTok was absolutely insane. <laughs> I'm just, wow. 
Yeah. Oh, man. Are you crazy? Howie Mandel's why? TikTok is a metaphor for the entire world. Raise your hand if you've been personally victimized by Howie Mandel <laughs> posting a prolapse anus on his TikTok. Olivia's raising her hand. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck, bro? This is so awesome. <laughs> if you guys can find any TikToks of people reacting to it, because um, there was well, one, I guess like, anybody that of thousands of likes. If anybody that duetted it, no, no, been... they were just it was like a PTS stare. Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> so, is it on Twitter? <sighs> I think he's still. It sure is. Oh, it's up on Twitter. Okay, it sure is. Let me read some comments on Twitter. Well, I just post. Oh, you so. got the warning up. Yeah. Yep. It says, "Don't watch these videos." <laughs> there you go. And there it is. Utter carelessness of the Twitter organization. Someone said, not the Mandusi. <laughs> oh, that's exciting, man. It's a good good weekend for that. So that happened. That was exciting. Um, you know, I think we got to issue a correction here. Uh, we made a reporting error about machine gun kelly well, his guitar now this is his like guitar is confirmed yes and 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 like sophie lloyd it's a it's a woman guitar player mm -hmm. and so you you can tell how do you can you tell just from her her bio yeah her bio she's verified account she has almost there's has like 700k videos of her on stage with okay him. wow but also to clarify we did we did correct ourselves on air about it <laughs> well i feel this is good context because yeah, you no, got it, dragged for this shit yeah. pretty hard mm -hmm. and um who who is she in this photo do you know um, i'm guessing in the middle this girl mm -hmm. okay so you know what man here i gotta i gotta give it up where i gotta give it up we give the guy a lot of shit and so it's only fair that we uh be honest when we get other information she said Hi, big fan of the podcast. Thank you, Sophie. Love you. Appreciate you. I'm Machine Gun Kelly's guitarist. Just an update on the wave pool incident. He didn't get it shut down. The wave pool broke, so no one could go in. So we went to ride some slides. We came back, and it was running again. So the band and his daughter went in. Kells didn't even come in as he didn't feel comfortable and wanted to keep to himself. We actually got the wave pool to go on for everyone at the park for 15 minutes longer. So it turns out that they were a benefactor. They were the benefit. They were the the champions of the, mm, of the wave pool. They saved the wave fact. pool. Mm -hmm. And so, you know. Wow. We flipped the script. Shout out to MGK. MGK, legend. So I don't know. You know? So thank you, Sophie. And uh, maybe Machine Gun Kelly's, my, maybe we're BFFs now. I don't know. I got to, I watched. I'll add him to the bucket with Mike and Jeff. <laughs> Mike and Jeff I, yeah. I watched his Hulu documentary. I watched half of it. I got to say my opinion has changed on MGK. No. Yeah. Like, okay. I'm, I'm coming out make... public saying that. No, come on. That, you're, you're... that makes so much sense now that you told me you watched a documentary. What's wrong with that? Go ahead, AB. Because when I was. He said it jokingly. He wasn't serious. But when I was trying to comfort him last week about the whole situation of him getting shit on Reddit. He goes, what can I say, man? I'm like MGK. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he gets shit. <laughs> how are you like MGK? You're like MGK. Hey, Maybe hey. you should. How, how are you like MGK? Because people are giving me shit online, but I'm still selling out shows. So it's like. <laughs> <laughs> how many cool. seats do you. All right. We're at your, your latest show. Uh, Viper Room in August sold out. It's like 270. Oh shit! That's yeah, actually a lot. Yeah, you are like MGK. MGK, I'm in MGK numbers, dude. You're selling out 300 seats. That's epic, bro. Yeah. So, are you yeah. getting paid for that shit yet? Uh, the day of the show, but I always split it with my band. That's good. Yeah. Always. So Zach, the chat is is pointing out that remember he's got all those. But the, those monitors. predatory remarks aside, <laughs> okay. oh, that's a big. You might, you, might yeah. you just said I'm like MGK. Maybe just clarify what. Yeah. Not in that sense, okay. but in the sense of getting a bunch of hate, but people are still coming to your show. But still being a. That's just star. that feels like it's not that like that's not enough similarity to say you're like MGK. <laughs> in this scenario, I'm like MGK. Okay. <laughs> Some people are saying you're much better than MGK. Oh wow! Well, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Don't lower yourself. Yeah. That level. Um, I saw the the documentary. I mean, 
I was watching it for like it's so bad it's good kind of thing because I had nothing else to watch. It was I don't know yeah I feel bad even to say anything bad about him now that he, now he's a friend of the show but <laughs> I didn't I wouldn't say it's it was pretty corny bro I don't know he's he's very dramatic he needs to like I don't know he takes himself too seriously that's my problem with him. I will say his vocal fry was pretty gnarly in that documentary. It was tremendously bad. A vocal fry. But apparently he's actually real, more, way more successful than I thought. I mean. Dude, he's like he's spelling cute. out the garden. Yeah. Yeah. And like his punk shit that everyone makes fun of. There's like hell of people there to mm-hmm. see him. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Well, he's got fans. People fuck with the MGK. <laughs> it's probably all Sophie's badass guitar playing though right that carries the whole band that's right fan of the show sophie lloyd everybody shreds she does shred she's like very talented guitarist absolutely yeah. shred mm-hmm. okay maybe you guys could collab zach i'd love that she probably won't even notice just with another artist because you and mgk <laughs> she you might guys are so similar <laughs> i think she's back with mgk yeah exactly machine gun zelly oh there you go machine gun zilly <laughs> Machine Gun Zilly Zonk. Love that. Collab of the century, dude. <laughs> Love that for you. Um, all right, there's two more things I want to watch at the top of the show, and then we'll do our Ace Fest uh, coverage, which I know everyone's excited about, myself included. Now, we talked about this guy, Gideon, who he got into this whole spat with Pokimane. What happened with him? It was like, oh, yeah, he... He got banned for being like a total chauvinist dick, mm-hmm. and then they made up. He had a whole like redemption arc with her, where yeah, they they made up and they mm-hmm. got friendly, and I think they did a stream together, mm-hmm. and he kind of regained a lot of the goodwill that he had lost, and then, uh, well, I think he's still popular. I don't think his fans care about this. He has got that Aiden Ross kind of like yeah, oh yeah, twelve year old mm-hmm. fan. Yeah, so. I mean. But I thought it was nice, at least the way he apologized to Pokemon, because most people just wouldn't do that, and I thought it was nice. Regardless, <clears throat> it's funny. I saw this video on TikTok, and I, and I didn't realize it was the same guy. Hassan also had a beef with this guy, because he went... This is the guy, I think, who went to the most racist town in America. Yeah. And then Hassan was like, Hassan was just like, I don't know what people expect that you're just going to go walk around and people are just going to be screaming racial slurs at you. That's not how it works. Right. Hassan <laughs> wants and bad so, stuff to happen to black people. I'm pretty sure that's what oh, that sound bite is. That was from. about, yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes, yes. Yeah. So somehow they spun it into Hassan is a racist. Uh, I don't and, know. And just really to be clear, that. this video was from last year, but I just. Oh, it's not even new? No, it's not. It's not new. Hmm. The way it was posted on Reddit initially, it looked like it was new, but looking more into it, it was uh, last year. So well, that before well, the redemption arc. That changes everything. Yeah, this changes everything. Yeah. Well, we're here. Let's just watch it. <laughs> uh, he, I've seen this, and I didn't know it was him. And, I mean, God, it's such such a dick. It's just not even funny. I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. I guess kids, I don't know. But watch this. Ain't it funny? Huh? Yeah. Your computer's frozen, apparently. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um. We are troubleshooting my computer. So, let's do a poll uh, while Dan tries to fix this. On Ace Fest, last before we went, we did a poll. We said... Do you think it's going to be a total disaster? It's going to be like mid, or it's going to be amazing. Is that right? Is that fair? Those three categories, or do we need more? Do we need more options? So let's do a poll. Oh, okay. Never mind on the poll. Thank you. <laughs> Dan has to do the poll. <clears throat> we'll do the poll before the segment. Anyway, let's play. You you see it, Ian? All right, thank you. What happened? You gotta have the shirt on. You gotta go. Oh damn, for real? Like, so decide right now, on or out. Whoa, what's what's the The deal? On? No, I'm just saying, like, what's that? What's what? Like the dance moves you're doing. Like you trying to hit the wall? Or out? 
Wait, what do I have to do? Shirt on. By the way, he starts filming now, but or it starts now. I'm pretty sure they've been arguing for a while based on how that started. He's like, you got to get in or out, bro. Like, I make, you know, $12 an hour. I'm not trying to fucking deal with your ass. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You see how she asked was, like, polite, but, like, yeah, sure. you came All in right. here, like, trying to, like, hit the Charlie D'Amelio woe on me. It's all good, Andrew. I can put it on. He, like, looked the other way. It's kind of, like, sus. Unless you roll that way. Yeah. You roll that way? Yeah. Homosexual? Mm -hmm. Damn, you're not gonna dab me up? I don't like the way you're looking at me. Yo, Andrew, I'ma catch you later. Who the fuck goes to Best ball. Buy without a shirt? Catch you later, Andrew. Hey. hey. Dude, what are you? And dudes like that, bro. You know what? Like what? I want to come in here with an army of people just without shirts on. Fuck, man. I'm not gonna lie. Andrew pissed me off. Like, bro, Why? he came up to me. He's like, hey, man, you gotta put on a shirt real quick. I would have been like, yeah, it's cool. But bro came up to me like, oh, oh, oh. Hey, what's up with your boy Andrew? <laughs> My bro was trying to hit the wall on me. Like, kind of felt violated. Andrew, yesterday you discriminated me. You did not let me take off my shirt. Boys, uncircumcised. <laughs> Is he standing on a bunch of expensive Andrew, STVs? We are peaceful. Andrew, you can't run from this. We will not be caged any longer. We have been discriminated for our lives. It's simple. Free the nipple. It's simple. Free the nipple. It's simple. Free the nipple. Join us, sir. Can you please join us? Why not? It's simple. It's simple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. Free the nipple. So. It's simple, free the nipple. I think our work here is done, boys. We've all been getting ready for hot boy summer. Yeah. We've been hitting our push up. I don't know. She was kind of fucked up to target that guy. Yeah. It's some Who's guy just will... trying to be like good employee. Yeah, make a minimum wage probably. He's just trying to be a good employee, and y'all had to fuck with him like that. And call him out by name, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Also, it's like, bro, I don't know if you know this, but Best Buy is not the only place you can't go in without a shirt. Right. Pretty sure that's everywhere. And he has a lab mic on him. He has someone following him with a camera. Clearly, they know he's there to fuck around. Was this live streamed on Twitch or was this like a video he made? Um, I'm trying to find an original video is deleted. Um, oh, he bailed on it. Yeah. I appreciate the execution of it, you know, but the the part the you know the recipient of it was not that was just not it, you know. So that's Gideon, I think, um, kind of a kind of a douche, kind of a dick. It's not funny, but this was pre redemption arc. Pre redemption arc again. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, it's true. He has redeemed himself. He's redeemed. Yeah. He's now he's just running interference for the KKK. <laughs> <laughs> much, much more minor than. Uh, <laughs> yeah. He's like, bro, I went, went and met the leader of the KKK. He's actually a really good guy, you yeah, guys. He didn't shoot me immediately. I wasn't so. offended at all. <laughs> he's like, leader of the KKK, do I have a right to exist? He's like, no. Go back to Africa. Respectfully. He was very nice to me. Respectful. Very respectful. <laughs> Unlike <yours>. Andrew. Douche. <laughs> right, that guy doesn't... doing a little shimmy. Right, right. So that's one at the top. The other one... This is one I found on TikTok. Oh, it was so good. I used to you own know, this... And, and, and there's been a lot of Elon hate on this podcast recently. And uh, I just absolutely loved this TikTok. Um, I'll let you enjoy it for yourself here. I used to own this Tesla up here. I bought it in 2020 for about 37,000. I drove it for about six months. 
Then I decided to sell it because I saw how Tesla stock was going crazy at the time. I sold it and I bought Tesla stock at $900. Now the Tesla stock is trading at about $700. And the car that I sold for $34,000 is now worth about $50,000. <laughs> and I'm stuck driving a Honda Civic now. I used to own this Dude, Tesla. That's awesome, here, isn't okay. it? The worst decision I've made. Ah, oh, it's so funny. It's true because the the, the uh, used car market is so nuts right now. It's insane. It's, that's crazy, bro. Yeah. Love that. Because I remember at the time, there was a meme like, dude, why if you bought Tesla stock instead of a Tesla, you'd be rich. Just love that. Turns out you shouldn't get financial advice from memes on TikTok. Nope. Oops. But shout out to the legend. I like that he's up front about it. <laughs> he's funny. There you have it, guys. Yep. Um, so uh, we're at 35, so I think we should do our ad, and then maybe we can... Uh, Sounds great. One other thing, today. real fast. Yes. Jeff Wittick says... Uh, oh, your best friend? My bestie. I think he messaged me, and he was like, yo, what's with um, Mike being your bestie now? And I said, nah, I took it back. You're my bestie. He said... Wait, did he really? Yeah, he did. <laughs> it, this was after the thing. He said, yo, bro, I deleted Twitter. Don't Please don't replace me with Mike. I swear to God. Oh, that's so funny. And I said, friendship with Mike is canceled, and he hearted it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's all good. We're back. All right, well, that's good. Yeah. I love to see it. We could fight about you saying that I got beef with Ethan from <laughs> H3. I don't have beef with him. No. I said had... Maybe I actually no, didn't. I completely said, just made that you up. Said I just Jeff's made that up. Got beef and I side with him, whatever he does. And I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? We just no, did I a side with you. Episode. Yeah, I know, but I'm not beefing with anybody. We no, could no, find... no. Tana, shit starter. Completely misunderstood. Where'd you get that Everything. from? She, she's so mistaken. Wait, I wanted the whole clip because in the whole clip, she says she's scared of me. She's scared of you. <laughs> she says she's scared of me. Well, maybe I saw it on Instagram. It was on. It was on Reddit. Or Reddit, yeah, pop that up. She says she's scared of me because I'll, I'm a crazy. I'm just well nuts. I'm a Sorry. lunatic. Hey, the Joker, baby. <laughs> yeah, just for context, she went on Bradley Martin's podcast. Oh, that guy hates me. Well, I we get, could fight about. I you. get why Bradley hates me. Yeah, that I get. <laughs> so let's try this. Saying again. that I got beef with Ethan from H three. I don't have beef with him. I said had. Maybe I actually no, didn't. I completely said, just made that you up. Said I just Jeff's made that up. Got beef and <laughs> I side with him whatever he does. And I'm like, what the fuck? We just No, did I side with episode. you. Yeah, I know, but I'm not beefing with anybody. Look, I To be I, fair, I, I thought love. you were. I'm really happy the beef is squashed. Yep. But to be fair, you're focusing on the wrong part of my sentiment. It was more so that whoever you have beef with, I ride with you. Yeah. And I ride you. Stop gaslighting here, Jeff. <laughs> Why, like, why was I gaslighting him? And he's like, Stop gaslighting here, Jeff. <laughs> no, you're um, right. No, you're but, right. Um, Am I being gaslighted? No, you had my back. Yeah. That's dope. But then Bradley was just like, yeah, fuck that. You got to have so, a, a plan for happened. Ethan. If you want to debate something, you want to you want to get to the bottom of something, you got you to gotta massage that guy. You got to really take your time. You got to, you know. Yeah, I don't know how much massaging you did on me, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. But well, the, everybody remembers how gracefully he handled that yeah, whole situation. Yeah. So No, no, no. Stop, Dan. We're best friends. I, saying I'm saying thing. he handled it with poise and grace. He did. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, you gotta have uh, an actual point that you're trying to make. You can't just be like "fuck him" because I would he lives never off fight that. with him. I would never fight with him. He's scary. <laughs> Jeff's funny. <laughs> he's kind of right. I I don't do it consciously, but he's kind of right. I do live for this shit. I mean, I'm not. You know what I mean? I mean, come on. He's kind of right. You're trying to make. You can't just be like, fuck him. I would he never off fight that. with him. I would never fight with him. He scares me. But I think it's because I've done, it's kind of like Portnoy. Like, I've done too much wrong. So it's like, I don't like to fight with people like that because they're just going to win. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? They're just going to come at my neck for all the actual wrongdoings I've done. And I'm going to be like, you suck. Okay. And then it's going to be like really embarrassing for me. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the same is <laughs> true with me. I, I, I don't know why Tana scared me because I invited her on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she said yes. And then I think, and then she ghosted me, I guess, probably because she got nervous. But I don't know why they why she's scared of me. I mean, I, I'm I want to be best friends with all these people. Jeff is my homie. <laughs> Tana's my homie. I think I think you and Tana would be funny together. To I think honest. we get on I've said famously. That I try, I try, and she's she's scared of me. So I don't know. You know who else told me that? 
I tr- I was uh, trying to get Mia Khalifa to come on the show, and she also said she's scared of me. Hmm. Well, I mean, bummer. You've been involved. <laughs> oh no. That is a bummer. You come to me on the day of my son being cured of COVID, and you say you're scared of me. You ain't scared of shit. Wait till you. Wait till you take a ride on my rowboat down on the lake. I don't know. Um. Listen, Tanner. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know anything. You think you're a wise guy? I'll teach you a little something about Tanner Khan. You broke my heart. You broke my heart. We could have been the best version of Frenemies. I know it was you, Fredo. I know it was you, Fredo. All right, get out. You stop it. You guys do. You guys force me into it and then snooze guys, off. This is, I didn't even ask you for and it. Zach. You. I did not even Zach ask won. for it. I know. They fear you. Don't eat them. They fear me. They don't hate me. They fear me. Fear is a powerful agent. Is it better to be feared or loved? I'd like to be loved, but if I have to be feared, so be it. Listen, you might get a pie. You might get a die. My son is 7% Italian. You know what that means? I'm... I'm the father of Italian children, and you look to me for answers in these difficult times. <laughs> That's true, by the way. My kids are seven percent Italian. Ela's fourteen. Yes, she is. Mm. Hey. Wow! So Congrats- watch it with the Italiophobia. Congratulations. <laughs> Those are my brothers. <laughs> yeah. Those are my people. <laughs> I'm the father to all Italians. You come to me. On this beautiful day, okay. you come to me and you act as if I'm not Italian. My children are 7% Italian. I make a pasta every night. It's their favorite dish. (laughs) And then you pretend, you play a sound, you play mobile games. Eh. I'll I'll teach you how to play mobile games with your guts. How dare you? I'm Italian X. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, stop it. Anyway, sh- Tana, why don't you, Tana, you should come on. There's nothing to be scared about. I'll give you something to be, you want to be scared? God, okay, enough. <laughs> Zach, kill it. Stop. <laughs> we got ads to do. Yeah, so I don't know why, I don't know what's with that. I don't, I don't know. But uh, there's, there you go, I guess. But anyway, shout out to uh, Tana and Jeff, everybody. You know what? She mentioned Dave Porkboy. I feel like I've turned on him a bit, too, towards li- I like him more now. Let's go. What, where does this come from? I don't know. I started watching his it's, pizza it's, reviews. New year, new me. Yeah, I like his pizza reviews. One yeah. bite. Everyone knows the rules, Ethan. One bite. <laughs> Portnoy had a base take when abortion rights were taken That's away. It. He had a super base take on abortion. Mm-hmm. Do you saw that, Dan? Yeah, okay. He was like, listen, uh, listen. Uh, I don't, how do I do his voice? It's like, Cam, listen, Cam, I don't, Cam, does, Cam does it really good. Cam does it really good. <laughs> Let's hear it, Cam. Cam. Let's hear the pork boy. <coughs> hey, Josh. Hey, Joshy. Hey. How you doing, buddy? It's BFF's <laughs> podcast. How you doing, everybody? <laughs> hey, Josh, you got any of the TikTok kids? Invite them over. <laughs> <laughs> Invite over those TikTok we'll, kids. Are we'll, they 18 yet, Joshy? We'll, we'll just go around the office talking like Dave Portnoy. But I, I got to say, I've turned on the pork boy a bit, and I'm a fan. <laughs> Ignoring, of course, the allegations. And I, I don't even know what happened with that stuff. But got to say, base take on abortion. Love that for him. Base as fuck. All right, let's thank our sponsor, and let's get to the main whole saga here. Thank you to HelloFresh. We love them. You know them. You love them. HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your door. Sk- Damn, those are good. Wait, go up. What are those, bro? Graphics 
some enchiladas. Enchiladas. Oh my god. Scallops? Yeah. Oh my god. I gotta sneeze. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh, uh. Look at the light, look at the light. I'm trying. Uh, uh, watermelon, away. watermelon, watermelon, watermelon. It went away. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Damn, we'll go up. What are those? Flautas? Yeah, looks like it. Oh, shit. Guys, you can choose from 55 plus weekly option featuring pre portioned, high quality ingredients picked at peak ripeness. HelloFresh delivers fresh quality produce from the farm to your door in less than a week, so you can savor the summer flavors right from home. Select meals from the Taste of Summer series that are sure to become everyone's new favorite, like the Old Bay Shrimp and Sausage Boil and Family Style Grilled Steak Lettuce Wraps. Um, I love HelloFresh. Oh, and of course, who could forget um, AB's World Famous Burrito. And look at those. The grill marks are pretty pretty yeah. good. Where'd, yeah. you, where'd you get those grill marks on? Was it like a, one of those skillets? Uh, panini press. Oh, you put that in a oh, panini interesting. press? interesting. See, we're getting new details yeah. still. Still. I'm going to slide them through. You did a sure panini. Guys, so, you know. so did you lightly just close the lid? You didn't press, did you? Stay tuned for next week. Hmm. Yeah. You could not press a burrito. Them. Here, I'm going to follow the crease of the fold here. <laughs> Look at that. Anyway, um, listen, I love HelloFresh. The food is always bomb. It's always fresh. And it's super fun. If you don't know, uh, if you're not a good chef, or even if you are a good chef, it's a great way to learn and to have an easy, delicious, healthy meal. It's apparently even cheaper than going grocery shopping because you don't buy, have to buy 10 pounds of carrots. Right. When you just need one single carrot. You know what I mean? It's ridiculous. 72% cheaper than dining out. And let's be honest, it's healthier, it tastes better, it's hella fresh. You gotta love it. Here's the best part though. Um, <laughs> go to hellofresh.com slash h3tv16 and use the code h3tv16 for up to 16 free meals. Wow. You don't even have to think and about three it. Three free gifts. That's hellofresh.com slash h3tv16. Use the code H316, H3TV16 for up to 16 free meals. America's number one meal kit. It's hella fresh. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Burritos in the chat. Burritos in the chat, y'all. <coughs> yes. They need to add. You know what they need to do? We should try to do something with HelloFresh where we get a special meal, AB's burrito. So people can make it at home. Like, legitimately, how cool would that be? I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, at the Crater Clash, people have burrito signs. Oh, I got to text. Wait, I got to text Alan right now. I got to text my guy. I don't want to forget. We literally need to make that happen. That would be so fun. Well, technically, they do make that burrito. It's just the normal. No, it needs to be called burrito. AB's Burrito. <laughs> Maybe we can get the code AB's Burrito, too. <laughs> okay, that's funny. Yeah. Use code AB's Burrito. I like that. Can we get a custom recipe with HelloFresh <laughs> called AB's Burrito? <laughs> or just just get a custom code called AB's, AB's Burrito. There you go, you guys. See, you see how the sausage is made here on this show. We had nothing from you. At one point when we were training for the Crater Clash and S-Fan was streaming something, at one point, he said something like, Can you guys chill out with the burritos? I can't see the rest of my chat. And I have no idea what that's. Hooper Troopers! Fucking burrito gods! That burrito will live forever, bro. It'll live longer than you. Yeah. You'll yeah. be dead and gone, and your burrito will live on. Mm -hmm. And that's a beautiful thing, isn't it? It's like my child. You're immortal. What's in it? It's as mysterious as the origins of the universe. <laughs> All right. Hasta la vista, baby. Now for the part everybody's been waiting for. Ace Fest. Ace, Ace Fest. Ace Fest. Ace Fest. Ace Ace Fest. Fest. Woo! Ace Fest. Real quick. I just want to say <coughs> Queen Ela's in the chat. Oh, what's up, Ela? Queen Ela. I live on an AB Burrito lunch special diet. That's it. That's Ela. what I'm saying, Ela. Wow. We got to do that. We got to get this special partnership going. <laughs> um, hi, Ela. Love you. God bless you, okay? They donated $200.
What? And said, sup, y'all. Oh. Papa blessed. Teddy Fresh, hello, fresh collab with AB's burrito. Okay, wow. Now, now we're, we're going talking, deep. Nick. Thank you for the uh, donation. First of all, that's all generous. 200, thank you. It, I mean, the idea is worth even more than that, though. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> AB's burrito, LLC. Mm. We'll make a company. <laughs> just mm-hmm. sell. What if we made our own brand of frozen burritos? Oh. S- circumvent like HelloFresh all together. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cut them out. I what mean, do we need them for? Yeah. There's an the AB's Burrito the website. Source. There's a Twitter page already. I don't know who runs them. Oh, there associated. is? Yeah. AB's, AB's Burritos LLC. You know, you were talking about doing a live show later <laughs> yeah. this year. You should hire a Mexican food truck and have them temporarily bre- rebrand H3 and sell AB's Burritos at the live show. We got. There's so much more we could be doing with these burritos. Mm-hmm, my mm-hmm, point. Mm-hmm. This is actually a good, this is a good idea. Mm-hmm. I like it. All right. Now, let's start from the top. Ace Fest, we've been looking forward to this event since this was announced months ago. They've promised um, Disneyland meets Coachella. Mm -hmm. And they were going to put this event on in six months. And that, to me, just felt insane. The economics of this event makes no sense to me. Even like super overpriced tickets, which was like a hundred per ticket, and you had to buy at least three to start, three to five. <clears throat> the economics still didn't make sense because we figured they sold like three thousand. The cut. What we did some math previously. It was like three thousand times three. Three thousand times three. A oh, shit. That's 9,000. Yeah. yeah, and then so, and then 9,000 times 100 per ticket, that's $900,000. Now, that's a lot of money. It's a good amount of money. Thank you, Lena. That's a lot of money, but, like, if you're putting together Disneyland versus Coachella, you got to get carnival rides, you got to get employees, you got to pay the lot, which is super expensive, you got to get insurance, you got to, there's so much cost associated with that. I just didn't understand how they were getting to make money from this shit. Um, the whole thing has just been uh, so incredible. And with their history, they have a long history of dubious business practices, I'll say. <clears throat> and so you guys saw a lot of other drama channels there, right? Who, uh, you oh, saw, yeah. You mm-hmm. saw Def Noodles. Mm-hmm. We ran into Def. Uh, we actually saw him right as... Uh, he was arriving right as we were, okay. and, and we ran into him again uh, near the end of the day. Okay. And uh, he had a whole uh, saga there as well. I don't and, know if you want to get into that, but uh, yeah, we'll get into that for sure. And then you saw Rich Lux and Mad Cat, Mad Cat, Cat Catster. He was the guy who started this whole drama with his. He did some investigating. And he was doing out. some gumshoe work where he, yeah. he called the venue and uh, tried to figure out what was going on with the whole summer of soul fest which was the other event that seemed to be taking place at the same location at the same time Mm -hmm. that we were speculating that maybe they were just white labeling and uh you know calling it their own festival when really they just had a corner of this pre-existing festival so right um you know which we did investigate as well as you'll see (coughs) in the video well so by the way so they got kicked out they didn't even let in they apparently had like wanted posters of some of these drama channels, <laughs> um, and 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 uh, and those two guys were kicked out of the venue. They didn't. I don't think they even made it in. in. So yeah, when we arrived, we were in the parking lot and we saw them being escorted to their car by security. Um, so we were actually like, oh boy, like are we gonna get rejected at the door? Like we were really thinking, okay, <laughs> we're we're done. They they have us zeroed in, but um, but. I mean, spoiler alert, we, we made it in, no problem. So, um, Thank you to Disney Bland meets Crotchella, 50 gifted subs. <laughs> I know who you are. You're the guy that keeps gifting How do they subs. change their name so often? <laughs> I don't know. I, have no, I didn't even know that was a thing. It's like kind of wild that you could even do that. Um, <clears throat> do we have the video of, of um, those two guys getting kicked out? Because it is interesting because when they're getting kicked out, there's someone from Ace Fest that's like talking mad shit to them too. 
He was like, what's up, y'all? Yeah, you guys lie and do drama. That's why you don't get in. You know what I'm saying? So let's let's roll that. Give as much context here as possible before we share our experience there. What's up? <laughs> um, in the meantime, <coughs> excuse me, as we pull that up, Austin put out a video telling all haters to suck a fat donut. What is a fat donut? Is that I know that must be a euphemism for something. Butthole? Maybe something like what Howie showed, maybe? Yeah, prolapsed anus? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Austin. So that's why I say 20%. Okay. So real quick, for the people that said that our festival was a scam or that it wasn't happening, you guys can suck a fat donut, okay, because it's happening. So yes, Ace Family, it is happening this Saturday. It's an all-day event. Click the link in our description and get your ticket to pull up. Also, I do find it interesting that they kept being like, it's sold out, it's sold out. Oh, but, but please, please get tickets and come the day before. They were selling tickets at the door, too. Wow. Yeah, I think I can confidently say that it was not sold out. Was it? My first was it crowded experience. even? Mm, you'll see in the video. Yeah, okay. I mean, there I was a. We... There, you'll see. You'll see. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Unless no, no spoilers. Yeah, no spoilers. Yeah. But they did clickbait us. They go, "It's canceled. Can't believe it." Yeah. Just try. You guys can suck a fat donut, okay? Suck a fat donut. Okay. Um, okay. All right. Chill out, Austin. Here's the clip of them getting kicked out. Uh, Mad Catster, Caster, Cat, Catster. I'm not ashamed. Are you ashamed? Trying to get in. Oh, Mad Catster's in the chat. Oh, really? What did he, did he say? Anything? Nah, he's here. Yeah, he donated one dollar without a comment. What's up, player? Thanks for that dollar. One dollar. Let's fucking <laughs> Let's go. go. Yeah. Fuck off, dude. Wait, what happened? So you guys, we just got kicked out of Ace Fest, Ace Mess. Ace Mess. They let in a Tozy and Spill Sesh and some of the others who have also uh, run stories. So wow, there's a lot of drama channels there. Mm -hmm. It was seemingly like every more drama channels than families. I was assuming at one point. <laughs> But um, they are not letting us in. And you can see. So I will be suing them because. Oh, stop it. Come on. You're suing them? Come on. For, I appreciate your, your investigative work, but that's a bit much. Uh, they had a posse waiting, including their videographer, Mad Catster, said. A posse? Waiting and a videographer. Wow, interesting. Yeah, like when they walked up, they said that um, people came up to them and there was a guy behind them filming. So security approached them, but they were like being filmed. I am surprised that they were the ones that were targeted because nobody else was kicked out except Rich Lux and Mad Catster. And somehow in this massive parking lot, their car was so close to ours. And when security walked them out, and they, then they pulled away. Security guards just looked at all, all of us, like 10 adults with no kids just standing there. Were you <laughs> scared? <laughs> we're, I was a little We worried. thought we were toast. Yeah. I thought you guys weren't going to make it, man. Yeah. I, I really did when, when I heard they got kicked out. But um, here, here's the, uh, this, this is pretty interesting. They did not deliver on what they promised, so it's a breach of contract. So, Rich. I don't think there's a contract. I think in reality you just got scammed. Right? Yeah. <laughs> he says, I want my money back, dude. Well, that's well, that's fair. Yeah, you should get a refund. Or charge him back if you put it on a card. He also says, even Dennis got in. Oh, yeah, no, Def Doodles got in. Easy. Yeah. Dude, you sh definitely should get a refund. There's no question about that. If he's not refunding you, then in reality you got scammed. You know what I mean? By the way, did you guys ever get physical tickets? Like, how did they confirm that you bought tickets? Yeah, we did. It ended up, like, going through, like, Eventbrite or something, right? Yeah, it was, like, a month or two later. I got an email that we had tickets in Eventbrite, and I was oh. able to connect it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was it was that. fairly recent, though. It wasn't, like, right away at all. Okay, so you guys had legit tickets. You went there, and they scanned them. They scanned them in. Scammed? Yeah, then they gave us full wristbands. Oh, wristbands? Okay, interesting. 
the VIP had the stars. So we on walked it. up to the ticket counter to, to get our tickets. They scanned my ticket. They scanned your ticket. We're, we're supposed to get wristbands. Yeah. Whenever we get our money back, but we well, got we got we got pulled money. aside and we were told we couldn't come in. Uh, apparently, they don't want the press there because uh, you know commentary channels. So we got turned away. So. I wonder what it is you're hiding. I mean, if there, if it was a solid event, then are they pressed? Are they, are they pressed? Do you refer to himself as? Yeah, pressed? he said Rich they don't Lux. want press there. Yeah. yeah, I mean, Rich Lux. I'm <laughs> sorry, you, but I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I, if I would. The guy who, uh, the guy who pressed. spent four weeks making videos about a video that he misunderstood about us. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's the one that reported that you. Yeah. We're making fun of Fuck that guy <laughs> he's a piece of shit wait 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 he was reporting that you made fun of who he made clips Lips? of no one because oh, he didn't oh, ob he obviously the caller, didn't watch the, the video right, right 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 yeah <coughs> well the ricks lux is famous for literally making shit up in his headlines yeah this isn't a fuck ricks rich lux video by the way no i just laughing that he that's, called himself press that's that's my opinion yeah <laughs> he i saw he posted a video recently where he was like um Ethan Klein is suing Trisha Paytas or something. No, like no, that. Trisha is suing you. Oh, Trisha you. Is suing me. Yeah, just like a week ago. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, because he had some fucking random, some nobody person pretending lying. to be a a, a lawyer or I'm a clerk. Uh, but I was like, dude, you rich just, poor. Yeah, I don't know. If, uh, press poor poor luck. Fucking God poor me. lux. <laughs> if it... reach lux, nice. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> rich lux reach lux that's funny so rich I, sucks. And, and, and you know what ricks uh you know the, reach the house whatever i love that thing the house is cool but you do reach that's all i'm saying and you did do my boy dirty dan being my boy of course yeah i don't have any problem with uh madcaster <laughs> madcaster's legit bro that guy's the king we love madcaster yeah, yeah. Then there's nothing to, you if, know. If it's supposed to be as good an event as they say it is, why aren't they letting us in? That's interesting. That's very you know, interesting. We, they made us pay for parking, which so they lied about that. Okay. They, yeah. they did say parking would be free, and they were charging people 10 bucks for parking. It was 10 bucks for parking. I great. remember them saying parking would be free, you guys. I I don't have that specific memory, but I that's <coughs> like something that they Does nobody just else remember the parking was going to be free? Yeah, but I remember some confusion as well. At one point, there was something on the website that said like $5, $10 parking. And I remember you saying you were confused because it said free parking initially. So yeah. Maybe... I mean, the advertisement for it changed a lot over yeah. time, as we'll see. Oh, somebody said the first person Rich Lux called when he got kicked out was Keemstar. Well, that's a, that's, that's pretty, that's a problem, dude. Well, he tagged you and Keemstar in the same tweet. Oh, okay. okay yeah. Okay. Tagging you after he spent the last month, you know, trying to cancel you. It takes a lot of fucking balls. <coughs> Was he? I, I don't follow him, really. I thought we were cool, and then it, this happens a lot with, like, these smaller drama channels. No. I, they're, just, they're just trying to get the clicks and the views and stuff, which I get. You're, yeah, your name gets a lot of clicks. Mm. Well, thanks, bro. Thanks for saying that. <laughs> it's nice. I don't think he's like adamantly anti Ethan. No, uh, Rich. No, I don't think no. so either. But sometimes he goes too far, like, you know, to get them clicks. He, he does yeah. too much. Like making four videos about me. That's too much. Yeah, that is fucked up. There were four on videos, and, th and that was just yeah. such bullshit. <laughs> that was just such bullshit. Do you feel famous? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sure. <laughs> get it off your chest. We're talking to. Rick I did. I, I, yeah. Yeah. No. I, I didn't want to get into it. I don't want to be dragged into it. But I do got to say, in that situation, that shit really makes me lose faith. Whenever I see someone like Dan, who is, I, all he does is defend. He's the prime example of an ally. And he's an ally. He's yes, an ally. Like, hear all that shit that he went through. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. No, like Dan, that, Dan is Dan is definitely an ally. I think it's fucked up too to accuse him of being homophobic, based on literally like the biggest rich, the biggest reach Lux of all time. Reach, reach Lux. the house, reach the house. Somebody bro. says Rich Lux, <laughs> uh, Rich just likes to talk shit. Yeah, me too. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There you go. From one from one to another. I love Reach Lux though, guys. That is strong. <laughs> I'm be crucified with you tonight. Reach Dan. the house. Yeah. Crucified by who? <laughs> Poor Lux. Yeah. Poor Lux. By a dude in a, a, a crown and some clown makeup. 
I for, damn. I didn't see him. I thought that I thought if he showed up to Ace Fest wearing that, I'd be like, okay, I think I know why they might have kicked you out in this family <laughs> event dressing up like a clown. Yeah. But, uh, but no, he, but no, I, he I, didn't wear. He didn't. He he kept the clown makeup at home. <laughs> they both look pretty cash. I'm surprised they even spotted him. But yeah, I do wonder if they <laughs> Zach with the clown. I love that you got your finger on that. <laughs> no. Um, I'm surprised they spotted him. They really must have had it out for these guys in particular. They must have been like, don't let these motherfuckers in specifically. Yeah, no, apparently. I think they were like the only thing told the security was probably like these two people. Absolutely not. That's right. true. I got to say security was very lax otherwise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like as lax as lax could be. Yeah, I'm almost, <laughs> Ian was in front of me when we walked to the metal detector. I'm, all, I'm like positive it rang and they just didn't check him. Oh, for real? He could have brought a weapon to that bitch. I don't. I mean, I don't know. Maybe there was something they knew because he had a watch on. They just knew it was the watch, but didn't worry me a little bit. You could have packed to that open carry. They did like bag check and stuff though, so it was. Legit. Oh, Mad Caster. He said I had nothing to do with the phone call. I don't know what's he referring to. Mad Caster. Uh, Keemstar, maybe. Oh yeah, no, Mad. You're we're cool. You're you're the man, dude, bro. We're chill, dude. You you a legend, dude. <laughs> You know what's interesting about it is that, you know, I've been doing this for eight years, right? We cover uh, Tati Westbrook, James Charles, Jeffree Star. I've gone to all their events, no issues, said hi. And there's nothing to hide. It's like, like what's, why wouldn't you want the press there, the commentary uh, part of YouTube? You know, it's interesting. And so uh, the security guard. Listen, bro. Uh, okay, whatever. I'm not, uh, it sucks to not get let in but i understand why they wouldn't and the same reason if you if he didn't let you guys in it would have been really sucked but i would have got it i was like you know eh, why <laughs> you Jeff don't, noodles was telling you know, me that um he didn't he didn't know you had to check in at the ticket booth and get a wristband at first so he just walked in oh for first. real yeah yeah they didn't, yeah he literally <laughs> just walked sigma. in yeah no i think it is it is I don't have a good explanation for why they specifically were targeted, and um, you know, it 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 is kind of odd because, like they said, I mean, when we saw them getting kicked out, we thought we were cooked. Yeah, but I think they probably were a little extra. I, I mean, Mad Catster with peace and love, he was the one that kind of started the whole thing with like the ticket sales and everything. I guess if they he, saw that, he, they and might they have. Did. Yeah. So Mad Castro was a little extra, and I'm sure Rich Lux, knowing Rich Lux, knowing him, he probably went all fucking extra on their ass. <laughs> but I don't know. Who knows? Apparently, we were right about Ace Fest and Soul Fest. We're because... going to get in the car. It's 100 degrees right yeah, now. Yeah, we're going to get in the car. Hold on, you guys. So wait, where's the part where the camera guy was talking shit to them? It's uh, right at the <laughs> beginning of Rich Lux's video. Is there a link to that in Discord? I'll send it right now. Yeah, that was the part I was interested in. Oh, what is this? Rich? Oh, you guys are sending me the tea on Rich? He posted a video about me two months ago. Ethan Klein is not sorry. Ethan Klein don't care. H3 is fake. And Trisha Paytas... <laughs> Stupid ass. Yeah, I mean, fuck you, dude. <laughs> no, he's, I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, guys... I say don't feel. He said Rich it. actually didn't post much about Ace Fest. Yeah, I mean that's probably true. It it was it was probably Mad Cats, sir, like you said. They they saw those videos and Damn, so you think he got he got guilt by association? Who Rich? Yeah. Yeah, I think just showing like yeah. I'm guessing. So here's Rich Lux. Ace Family kicked me out of Ace Fest with Mad Catster. Here it is. He's supposed to be included the Ace Fest. No, they said they were making his charge. Love how dramatic this is. <laughs> it's said so by me. And now he's about to lose everything. Hey, whoa, 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 Who the fuck gave you consent to use my clip, bitch? <laughs> After talking mad shit, saying I don't care. Reach the house. So is he an enemy of the show now, Rich Lux? Do we hate Rich Lux now? I thought we Are you were really asking. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. A, he's an enemy. No. <laughs> he's an enemy of the show. Sorry, Rich. Hey guys, what's up? It's me and Matt <coughs> hey. Star here. Yeah, timestamp me, please. Thank you. So, um, here's the timestamp. This is pretty interesting. 
said so by me. I'm just working on the works. They would be. Yes, everyone. I, I don't know what these guys are. They're media, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. So, I mean, that's probably the Ace Family shooters, right? That's interesting. Ace Wonder Family if they're planning a documentary on, like, on their haters. Addressing it? Yeah. Huh. I don't know. I mean, why else would somebody be there ready to go filming it? Maybe but just have, them. Maybe to have, like, all, like, proof oh, that nothing crazy happened if, like, claims were made. Yeah, and claims were made. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're Club, we just got kicked out of Ace Fest. Oh, yeah? Uh, we got one million subscribers on YouTube. I wonder why. This is, uh, I wonder why. Broadcaster. Yeah. And security told us that we got to leave. I mean, I wonder why you guys got kicked out. Yeah, I wonder why. I mean, I guess all that internet stuff you guys do, right? What do you guys do? I uh, might have something to do with celebrity that. Celebrity use gossip. Oh, that's bad. Know, oh, it's just gossip. Oh, okay. Maybe just shitting on people. That's All right. Dude, right? See you later. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's got an Ace Family henchman there. Yeah, that sure seems like what it is. It's real interesting. He's like, yo, why? I wonder why you got kicked out. All that bullshit on the internet. Shitting on people for no reason. Yeah. Kind of just got sigmed out. The guy with the skull filmed us on the way in. Is that right? No. On the swings. Oh, on the swings? Yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that was that guy? So you guys might actually be featured in the, the Ace Family Triumph documentary. Yeah. <laughs> that, that'd be Very great. Possible. This guy here, he was filming you, Cam? Yeah, He's, I remember that. Wait, he had the gimbal yeah, and shit? Yeah, yeah gigantic gimbal. gimbal, gimbal that was yeah. him? Yeah, that was him. Yeah, that yeah. was the same guy. And I, I may have ruined that for us. Uh, because Dan was like, you know, act excited when we were on these swings, and I kind of overdid it a little bit. So, or maybe oh, I was jumping there. up and down. Wait, too, what, what did you do? I was just screaming, but like, I'm not like obnoxiously loud. We it, it's in the video. <laughs> yeah. It, it's, yeah. Beta. 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 Somebody asked, can you specifically deny that there were subpoenas that said uh, that were served in regards to the five percent and Trisha Paytas? <laughs> what? <laughs> I think they're joking. Five but can you deny that you were? Can not I subpoenaed? deny that I subpoenaed her? No, no, no. That you were subpoenaed. Oh, about the five percent? Yes, I deny it. There was no five percent difference. Okay. Do you even know what a subpoena is? That's like a grand jury summons. I, again, I think this person was joking. Okay, yeah. yeah, but yeah, that that was one of the things that Reach Lux was saying. Reach the house. Five yeah. percent. <laughs> no, there's no litigation between me and Trisha, guys. That's crazy. <laughs> You think I'd be able to shut my mouth out about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you tried to me. <laughs> anyway, so um, let's just get right into it then, shall we? So um, you guys drove there. How long was the drive? An about... hour and a half. <laughs> okay, that's not yeah, that bad. On that. And, and when you arrived and opened the door and got out, what was the, it, was it hot as shit? It was super hot. It was, it was very hot. It was like out in the wasteland. Like yeah. Mad Max shit, you know, like right, totally just, Mad Max. It's just when I got there, uh, I saw a a person that looked like they were having a bad trip. Okay, like uh, some sort of tw tweaking situation. Mm -hmm. They were picking their skin. Um, so then I got back in my car. I think there is a lot of like drug use out there. Definitely, yeah. there's not a lot else else to do there. So I get it. Were you going to say something, Olivia? Oh, I was just going to say, uh, everyone was standing together when I pulled up in the parking lot. And before I could, I was like going to say something about the location, but I felt a giant <clears throat> gust of heat all over. And I just screamed like, oh, it is gross. <clears throat> Olivia yeah. made the mistake of wearing pants. Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was fine. Some people like to wear pants. Yeah. But... It was just, it was pretty gross for mm -hmm. a minute. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to ask. I, I Someone was live streaming there before you guys arrived. And when I opened it, immediately as I opened it, a huge tent was blown <laughs> over. There was like violent wind there. Love, do you have that? Is that in the video? What happened to that? No, that's not in the video. Uh, we do have it, though. <clears throat> I sent it to Love, too. Yeah, yeah, to Rip. To um, save it. Let me, I, I can pull it real quick. It, it was so crazy. Like, I just clicked this live stream randomly. It was one guy by himself. I forget the name. A tozy. A tozy. 
what, was, what is his name? Atozi. Atozi. And a huge fucking tent just blew over violently. I mean, it could have killed someone if they were under it. It was nuts. Lover, do you have it? And Dan, you're, you said you're, you got it, right? Well, I'm going to our <coughs> video assets here. I'm looking for it. I don't have it right now. So Here, uh, just, Cam sent it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so this go. is basically a little bit of it. Thank you, uh, Cameron. Oh. 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 So, so that just happened. Uh, is everyone okay? I kind of wish we had the beginning of it. Oh. It's, it was oh. pretty crazy. Oh. Oh my God, this oh. is the tea. Oh. So I was like, holy oh. shit, this this fest or this fest oh. is nuts. So, so that just happened. Uh, is everyone okay? <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Guy. Oh. Oh. Look at this. Oh wow. Oh. It looks like a hurricane hit. Oh, goodness. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, yeah, so oh. I was oh. like, holy crap, this oh. place is kind of oh. even dangerous, potentially. Oh, you got the full clip? Awesome. Thank you, love. Yeah, just to show the beginning of it. Super windy. Oh. 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 It just, that's oh. when I, I just clicked the live stream and watched this oh. go down. I was like, what the oh. fuck? It was like the first thing you saw. Yeah, immediately. So was it super windy there? Um, To be honest, when we were there, no. not really. Just got the violent wind. I mean, I think this was several hours before we arrived, so mm -hmm. it, I think it just died down by the time we got there. It was like mm -hmm. a, it was just like a warm, like windy heat. Right. Yeah. yeah. It felt like when you walk into a hot car when we stepped out. Right. 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 Now I want to do a poll before we watch this video. What do you expect happened at Ace Fest? Um. Expect. Total scam. At Ace Fest. Um, total scam. Sh just shit event. Like total scam, shitty, damned, mid, or best day ever. Is that too many options? We can do four. So total scam, Feel shit, scamming or just people. fun event. I think I don't think best day ever. Shit, I don't know. Total mid. scam, shit. It was mid, <coughs> best day ever. Best day ever. Here was our predictions going into this. We bought tickets to Ace Family's new scam fest. Ace Family scam just got a thousand times worse. Ace Fest is reaching fire festival levels of scam. <laughs> Ace Family's newest scam is so blatant. I wonder if they had a picture of me up and then didn't target any of you guys. You know, I I actually thought that because uh, yeah, I mean that would make sense. They wouldn't fucking recognize us. Like maybe <laughs> AB because he led the um uh the content Ace court. Uh, content court that we did. But that was years ago. No, I, I think they just have a pick of me. Up. Yeah, they probably had a pick of me. I, I was definitely a little worried because of the, what Dan said and also because he's doing a boxing event and we just had the creator clash. So I thought maybe. Right. Possible, that. But, yeah. Might have recognized you from that. Um, is this Ace Family new scam? Ace Family predicts their own downfall. It's a lot. Let's be honest. <laughs> so let's everyone do their poll. Let's see. Let's, let's, I'm going to say my expectation was that it was basically going to be damned shit. I don't know. Yeah, so you wait, I, th I thought you're. You were saying it was. A scam I was somewhere somehow. between total scam and shit. Yeah, because you kept saying like the economics make no sense. Which, yeah, like kind of implies there's some sort of scam element to it. Well, what? Okay, what I really thought was going to happen is that because on the same day there was that summer soul festival. Right. We really thought that they were just going to have a booth there. Right. And they were just upcharging oh, like better. a five dollar ticket for a hundred bucks. Right. You guys can suck a fat donut, okay? <laughs> but now you guys can see total scam is 25%, shit is 34%, mid 35%, best day ever, 5%. 5%. 5%. I'm suing Ethan for the 5%. Well, without further ado, <coughs> um, let's roll our experience at Ace Fest. All right. What's up? We're here in beautiful Palmdale, California. And we're here for the Ace Festival. Ace family! Ace family. So, uh, as we walked up, uh, we saw a number of people getting kicked out. Uh, you know, some other commentary channel. The fuck? Where'd she? Wait, Wait that? I thought you weren't coming. 
Oh, what's up, guys? Six what the shirt? fuck are you doing here? Oh, I'm going to the Summer of Soul Festival. There, uh, Christopher Cross tribute band's playing. If you're going to the Summer of Soul, do you feel like that's a little too many buttons? I can go lower, dude. I'm gonna want to turn into a red lobster V, my guy. Anyways, it was great seeing you guys. Like, you know, we'll miss you. Great I guess. seeing you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Treating us like we're like fans that you ran into or something. I mean, kind of impeding on my soul right now. I gotta give it to you though. You're looking very soulful. You do. Yeah, I mean, Cam, you know, you Kangol shades. Yeah, the hat khaki is. shorts. You know, you got it. You got it. Soul out. Cargos? Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Did you buy the hat for the event, or did you have that like ready? I feel like that's a subjective question, man. What? No. When did subjective. the hat become Maybe. his? You know what Maybe. I mean? But yeah, it was really great, you know, running into you guys. Well, if you decide you want to like actually like do your job, maybe come over to the Ace Fest. I mean, I mean if we get kicked out of Ace Fest, I'm definitely going to join you at, you at the Summer like, Soul. Yeah, okay, we got to like do our job. Like, hey, get, go, go. I'm going to get my Summer Solstice yes, on. Go soul. Boom. Hi. I don't... That was weird. Um, so yeah, we're here at the Ace Fest. Um, you know, it, there was a lot of promises made. We're gonna see if those promises were kept. Uh, it was advertised as Coachella meets Disneyland, which, um, well, I mean, Coachella is in the desert, so they got that part, and it's always hot there. So far, looking at the inflatable waving guys in the front, I feel like this is ninth wonder of the world potential. Live music, one of the things that they promised. Yeah, I'm not, well, let me correct you there, Sam. I don't believe live music was ever promised. Live performances oh. were promised. And performance, as you'll note, is a fairly vague word that could mean anything from a full band to a juggler. I don't know. So, we're, But we're really here because we are big ace heads. Yeah. As we got see. all of the merch, the, the drip, Oh. Look at that. Boom. I got nothing. Yo, yo, you got <laughs> this nothing? Is oh, well. What the hell? I got an Ace Family shirt. Yeah. Ace shirt. So it would really would be criminal to kick us out because we are just we big, are, big fans. We are Ace Fam. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Uh, before you guys head in, um, I saw they promised that there was going to be live, uh, there's going to be uh, animals there. Was there livestock there? there? I saw some pigeons. <laughs> there was pigeons? There were definitely pigeons. But they're pigeons. probably not with Ace Fest. I didn't see, I didn't get a close enough Could to look Could you pet the see. pigeons? I tried. They, uh oh, they, Rich Lux is in the chat. They flew away. He says, I'm shook. Can't believe it. They did not let me in. I guess he didn't see the first part in. of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, guess what? Hey, Rich. Hey, welcome to the show, yeah, don't buddy. Re don't rewind, buddy. <laughs> yeah, don't go back. <laughs> You're not about to get kicked out of another thing. Oh, whoop. oops. <laughs> the, oh, did you ban him? <laughs> no. Wait, never. did you ban him, Dan? No. Oh, you wouldn't do that, would you? I would never. Wait, did you? Yeah, I banned him. Oh my God, Dan! <laughs> oh, the goat! Oh, man. <laughs> man. Man. Dan, that's too much. Dan, that's too much? I should unban him. I mean, coming in. Well, too bad. I'm you're kind of helping him out in a way because. No, I want to. I, I, no, don't no. squelch him. I want to hear if he has. First of all, very funny idea, but I want to hear if he has anything to say. <laughs> um, I'll see if I can figure out how to undo him. Oh God, <laughs> Dan, uh, really, Rich. I've, uh, Rich, uh, it's Dan, we're trying to figure out how to band. unban you. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious, dude. <laughs> Rich, if you want to say anything, you can go through Mad Catster. He's not banned. Yeah. We let him Send in. Send your messages to Mad. And stay mad. Oh, my God, Dan. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So there was no livestock, so that was a lie. Was there any live music? I know, Dan, you made a point about performances versus music, but was there music? <laughs> there was. Uh, the, no. There no. was DJs. There was? Just, no, not even. Was in, there? Yeah, there was in, DJs. There was. I, oh, inside. More than one DJ? No, not just inside. Outside as well. Oh, really? Yeah, I was looking at their turntables. There was okay. two DJs? Mm -hmm. At least. That's at least. fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Three DJs? That's insane. <laughs> Possibly four. Nine DJs? What? Whoa. It was all DJs and drama channels. <laughs> all right, go ahead and roll it.
I was gripping it because I was sliding up. Woo! You know, I'm gonna say it. I'm having fun. I'm kind of having a good time. Dude, I'm gonna say it. This fucking rules, it man. Does. It this does. It's kind of lit, dude. I love it. Let's do some more rides, dude. Yeah. Let's have some fucking fun, dude. Let's go, dude. I was wrong. It's like nothing to do here. Christopher Cross bailed. I give up. I'm just really fucking upset, man. Just wanted to come get my soul on. Fucking ace best. Why does it have to be so fun? I'm just, having like a great I know, time. I'm like, having a really good time. Okay. I gotta be honest. I'm it's, impressed. It's yeah, starting to cool off. It. It's Kinda great. Like, hey it's guys. Awesome. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Oh, hey, what's up, Zach? How's it going? Uh, it's going really good, actually. We're having a great time. How's the Soul Festival? Yeah, that's Soul Festival. Uh, it's not great. Not great. Can can I come over there? Yeah, I thought the Soul and the Soul Fest was going to be so fucking no, cool. Christopher Cross failed, dude. I've had my fun here. I want to come to Ace Fest. Are you Ace Gang? Because we are. Dude, I fuck with Austin, man. He's my homie. I'm hype yeah. as fuck. You guys suck. Let me in. Your outfit's kind of giving Predator. You don't have to Your outfit's outfit. kind of yeah, giving... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you what, Zach. You can come over, but you gotta button up that shirt. Never. Okay, you can well, die. Wait, 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 okay. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. All right. Get your I'm already severely sunburned, so the lobster V has already taken effect. So I'll, I'll, I'll button up. Uh, about seven people have told us that there's a hole in the fence over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, just kind of sneak in. I kind of. Okay. All right. <laughs> This is awesome. I love the Ace Fest. <laughs> I love Ace Fest. The view of Palmdale is fantastic up there. Yeah, it's Lancaster. Most beautiful today! He's bumping Cam! Maybe he's the one bumping Cam now? David Dobrik on an excavator, dude. Sam's been waiting in line for like an hour at least. And that's where. All right, so now we're going up to the, the meet and greet. Mm -hmm. So, but it turns out the fest, Ace Fest was fucking awesome. You guys had a great time. It was, it was a, legit. It was a blast. It turns <laughs> out that uh, a giant carnival with a bunch of rides that are all free and a bunch of games. That no are all lines. Free with almost no one there. 
Dude. is like a really fucking good time. It was a good day. <laughs> so, by the way, someone asked, so um, Lil- Lily Perez asked, did you all have to pay for activities and games or were they separate or included in ticket price? All included. All included. The games were free. Isn't that a great? You could play the carnival games, games and they had prizes. Yeah, there were prizes yeah. and you could just keep playing as much as you wanted. And the rides had no lines. No lines. No and they were free. And they looked fun as fuck. Dude, that first one was spinning <gasps> fast. Yeah. No, no, bro. You, I, I really thought I was gonna die. <laughs> that, that was, was so though. crazy. I, I very often go on roller coasters. I love. That was the scariest thing I've ever done. They would like. They slowly brought us <laughs> upside down, and it we only awesome. had this thing. Oh, and they brought us all the way to the top, <clears throat> and we. They just had us hanging there, oh, and I. Sp- I thought I was gonna fall out head first. Didn't Whoa. you, Olivia, didn't you lose something out of your pocket, too? I thought I thought that I had dropped oh, okay. something. Olivia had no reservations about it. She's just like, I'm going for it. <laughs> yeah, I really, I made that choice quick. And then on the swing ride, apparently AB was swinging wildly. You were able to kick the person in front <laughs> okay, of you? That's kind of nice. Dan, Dan was sitting behind me. I thought he was fucking with me. And then, like, when I was like, I was going like this, I'm like, oh, that, Dan wouldn't be doing that. Like, no, because the, I was starting to really the get standard scared. spacing... You know, it, it, I wouldn't have. Been, I wouldn't have been able to reach out and kick you. No, you're. You just got the cursed chair, and it started it was, like swinging wildly, like in a circle. Yeah. Right yeah. And, and it you were catap- slamming into me, and then slamming. <laughs> yep, into it would yeah. catapult my whole body forward like this. <laughs> then it, it were you swing, scared? I, oh, I was. I was. I was scared. Definitely. You oh, could tell was, the guy with the controls when whenever we would pass him, I saw he was just smiling. Was <laughs> he, he like loved that we were so scared. Uh, I had. I had fun, but. I'm a little sour about the Summer of Soul, dude. Yeah, and then so what's funny is the Summer of Soul Fest, which we thought they were going to be ripping from, actually sucked Complete a donut. Garbage, like the, the, most, the most pathetic How, yeah. thing I have ever seen yeah. in my life. Tell me about Summer of Soul, Zach. Um, well, uh, <coughs> on the ad, it was supposed to be like live music, and then like a they put it a lowrider competition, but there were like three cars in the parking lot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And like, no one was in the food trucks. The food was, trucks were unoccupied. They were unoccupied. It was just a weird vibe, and there were we saw other tweakers in there. Oh shit! It was hot, and Christopher Cross tribute band bailed. So, and they the the tribute band actually okay okay. He's making and was there free water there? Uh no. Not yeah, so at the theory. Ace Fest, they had free water stations free water. throughout the park. Yeah, free dude. water and bubble different, water, too. Yeah, and sp- water. stations to sit down under, like, shade to eat, a bunch of tables. Wait, yeah. you said they had bubble water? Or, I mean, <laughs> bubble. I mean bubbler. Is it, out of, like, a filtered bubbler. I meant. They had a, fil- a bubble water? Not bubble water. <laughs> bubble water. It, it was still, it was tap. Bubble water. <clears throat> so in the end... <clears throat> they pulled it off, and I have to say it's super impressive to me that they actually fu- I still don't understand the economics. I don't know how much money they made. Dan has don- donned his Ace Family hat. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> I got mine right now. And this was the most uh, uh, shocking outcome. The guys were telling me I was with Theodore, sick with COVID, and then the guys, they were sending me updates in the in our group chat of just how much fun they were having it was so interesting to see it go down yeah i also have to say sam and i we were at the glitter tattoo station and we talked to one of the girls who worked there was it free uh yeah it was was free free. oh shit she said that that small business has like consistently been employed by the ace family dude which was i gotta say that's cool and like their boss had met Catherine and everything so here's what i'm thinking um, someone's saying it was low-key a scam, though. I don't actually think it was a scam at all, was it? I don't think so. I mean, promises made, promises kept. No. Well, well we, sh- we should do a full assessment at the end of the video because there, there is still a few details to be included. But I would say mixed. Mixed bag. Yeah. It wasn't a scam, though. I mean, scam is probably too far. But, I mean, they did. Was it, was it Disneyland meets Coachella? Absolutely not. <laughs> Were there live performers? I guess if you count the DJs as that, I guess they're performing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel like live performance <laughs> sort of indicates to people like a band or something like that, but whatever. And then they did say uh, wild animals, and yeah, that, there that was one, no animals. There was no <laughs> And wild. to be honest, 
And to be honest about that, I'm kind of glad there wasn't Me uh, too. animals in that heat. Oh, my God. I feel oh, horrible. Animals. Horrible. Poor animals. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, those poor animals. I feel so validated. Shout out to the chat. Why do you feel validated? <laughs> because I predicted it. You s- predicted it would be a banger. No, no. I said I, I would work out. No one could explain how, but it would work out and be fine. And everybody's like, Amy's a soon. I don't know that. what the hell they were saying, but. <laughs> You've been hurt. holding on to that. I have. Yeah. I'm very satisfied. Me and Austin are actually boys now, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, that's Idiot. coming up. Um, so, anyway. Um, Listen, but again, it was five hundred bucks for you guys all to go. So yeah, it's a hundred dollars a ticket. Expensive. It's a very expensive uh, county carnival. But guys, yeah. essentially, what it was. Get this, right? And I guess that is the that's point. Serious. That's a serious. We paid. Cardboard. We paid a hundred dollars for the VIP tickets because we are very important people. <laughs> um, do, how much were just like the regular tickets? Like if you showed up at the day, like, I well, thought it was a hundred bucks. Hundred twenty. Yeah, I think. Hundred twenty. No, that's what I we think. paid for the VIP. So the regular ticket. Oh, Cam said oh. the normal ticket to get in was 120. We paid, I think, 4.99, right, Sam? For five tickets, yeah. She's saying yeah. Right for the five ticket package. That was the VIP package. Right. That's what I'm saying. The hundred. I thought it was 100 VIP. bucks for one ticket. They sold one ticket, mm-hmm. 100 bucks. Whatever. It was, I guess I'm just asking yeah. if there was like a lower tier ticket that didn't get I don't you think so. the VIP uh, meet and greet experience or whatever. There were singles that I think were like 120 or something like that. Yeah. That, yeah. that were not VIP. No. They, so they were more expensive? Dude, it was, was not. One? It was 100 bucks per ticket was the cheapest. Yeah, I think so. And then there was something for, oh, yeah, I think you're right. And I think those were sold out. Um, <coughs> excuse me. By the time I checked again, but then there I was think... a two ninety nine that was three tickets. Or something. well, the funny thing about this Disney versus Coachella thing is like, once again, near Disneyland, there's this theme park called um, Adventureland, mm-hmm. which mm-hmm. is like twenty five dollars per ticket, and it's like that times four. So obviously, <laughs> but like, if you're a fan of Ace Family. Well, that was what I was going to try and say is the VIP ticket got you the meet and greet. So if you're a fan, like, how do you judge the dollar value of getting to meet somebody that you're a fan of? Uh, you know, that plus the carnival. I will also card. say that if you go to Adventureland, you have to pay for the the carnival rides or the, the carnival games. I will say it was mm-hmm. kind of trippy to be doing like typical carnival stuff, you know, throw a ring or talk. Normally you have to dole out these tickets mm-hmm. and you can just do it once and then you got to keep buying tickets. We would just miss the thing and go, get, hey, give it. That's and, awesome. And no one was there. That's so awesome. We, we were just playing the games. You could do it as long as you wanted. So mm-hmm. did you guys all win or was it even impossible to win that shit uh, for free? Ian won. He won that. That thing that Ian's wearing, wearing right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, I won uh, this. It's like a hoodie. Uh, <laughs> tote bag. But I, I do yeah. need to say, he didn't need a second try. He hit that on his first try. Thanks, bro. Mm-hmm. Is Thank that right? What game was that on? That's Ian. The basketball. The basketball. basketball. It's in the start of the video, too. But also, it was really nice. There was a bunch of families there, like, walking around. And that's primarily what happy. it was. It yeah, was, look yeah. happy. We, we were, <laughs> that's what we realized shortly after getting there. Because we had, like, made jokes. Of, like, you kept saying, like, oh, man, this is like a predator's paradise or whatever. <laughs> uh, going to the... Like, we're walking around like, we're the fucking weirdos. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, we're the people without kids. Def Noodles was the weird guy by himself. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it got But it was families it. happily having fun. They seemed yeah. to be enjoying the And the know. food. The food was great. All the food I had is reasonably yeah. priced. <laughs> oh, yeah, you guys said the food trucks were off the Oh, chart. they were, like, actually really good food trucks mm-hmm. there, yeah. That pretzel place was good. Yeah. yeah. I do also want to say to thank um, um, uh, Dan... King shit Dan for a hundred gifted subs. Oh my out god! Out of control. Thank you, bro. He's insane. This man has to be king, a king or queen. We're gonna and have to reach whoever you are. Reach out. We got, we got to talk. We got to talk. He about has this. to be an oiler, I think. An oiler? He might be a yeah. juicer. You think, <laughs> nah, you he's, think an oiler, he's an oil oiler baron? Sure. Yeah, he's an oil uh, prince or something. Think, <laughs> right, right, right. Or he just steals credit cards and then they charge back. Sure. Sure. So, <laughs> so somebody chat asked if there was free food. I don't think that was ever advertised. No, not it was, free. The food. food was not free. Yeah, but it was like regular price. It wasn't overpriced. Yeah, what it was. Now I have to say, uh, it was 120 at the door to get in, not VIP. Atosi said that he had to pay for water at the water station. No, there is no, no. no. Love, that's that. The, where did you see that, love? That he had to pay for Shut. water. Oh, 
So what you guys saw contradicts that, at least as far as when you guys went to get water, there, were there was no... Mul- oh. There were just multiple It was a water, water jug with cups. Yeah, it was water coolers, and yeah. there was the cups, and it was, and they were there was a dude there that all day was coming and pouring ice into it. He would, like, take off the yep. jug and pour a big bag ice of ice. Ice water. So it was ice water. Yep. I hit that multiple it, times. Yep. Day I, too. I kept hitting it. It yeah. was full. There was yeah, cups there. Were there. Mist, there were misters, too, in some parts. Yeah. I got to say, the ice is a nice touch. They could have just served your ass hot water. I thought so, too. I thought so, too. <laughs> so, okay, let's, so obviously it's expensive, right? Um, but let's, let's continue then. Um, someone said they advertise free food. I don't think so. I don't ever recall that. I mean, that. if you actually know that for a fact, send it to us. Because, I mean, that would be, that would be another check mark in the, in the scam column. If they right. advertise free food, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I ever saw free that. Food, but could be wrong about that. So anyway, let's continue on to the um, now the uh, let's continue on to the meet and greet part, which I think you guys will notice looks a lot like a FEMA emergency <laughs> center. It's giving me a FEMA yeah. emergency vibe. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, here it is. Check it out. Next part two. Sam's Let's go. been waiting in line for like an hour at least. And that's where she is. This is the end of the line. I the Ace family is taking the time. Meet people. Very thoughtful. Kings, legends, kings and queens. Alert. Excuse me. Are, are you Sam from H3? Uh, you guys, you made it far. You're like still at the end of the line. Something but just not- happened like 10 minutes ago and everyone was like screaming and cheering and people were like putting, pulling their phones out. I don't know. Zach Lewis walked by. Oh, that's probably what it was. All these drama channels are trying to paint this as Astro World. Wrong. Wrong. It's it's 7 o'clock. You'd assume they would start being like, hey, that's great. Nice to meet you. Leave. Not the Ace. Huh. They want to know your origin story, where you're born, how you grew up, you childhood grew up. friends. Yeah. What you had for lunch. They want to know all of it. That's the type of experience you're going to get. I care about the fans. I'm yes. so excited to tell them. We're here with Dennis, the legend, Def Noodle. Shut up, how you doing? We need to know, how is your ace experience? It's been absolutely amazing. The greatest experience of my life. They gave me a scarf. Let's it's, go. It's 100 degrees outside and I got a scarf. Oh. It's, it's good. It's good That's quality. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Is that Gucci? Gucci, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> and you're waiting to meet the legends oh, himself? Yeah. Uh, this is like the greatest moment of my life. This is going to be the apex of everything. It's, it's converging to this moment, so I can't wait. So you're official Ace fan? Official Ace fan fan. I'm literally a part of the cult. A- Ace fan for life. Ace fan, Ace for, fan life. for life. Let's go. <laughs> We're so close. Getting kind of nervous. Yeah, I'm very nervous. Butterflies. I'm more nervous than walking into the greater class somehow. We just went to the festival, it's so great. We had so much fun. It was a really good event. So thank you so much. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs> Okay. okay, great, perfect. We did it. Hundred bucks. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> How'd it go? Great. Did you meet the legends? Everything I dreamed of. I got hey, this look autograph. Look at this. I gotta sell this bad boy before I leave. Their autograph. This is mine, bro. Bro. Yeah, let me get, let me get it. No. Wait, let me give that shit. Hey, 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 hey. Honestly, I love that. nicest people I've ever met. I'm down with the fan now, like for real. Fan for life, bro. Fan for life. Let's go, Ace Fan, bro. All right, all right, all right. I need some rhythm. We are, we are Ace Fan. We are, we are Ace Fan. Let's hear it. We are. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Stop! All right, guys. How are we feeling? It's woo! There's a ton of my life. Beautiful sunset. Oh, I had a blast. The time of my life. And I know it only scams, scams. Shut your mouth. <laughs> yeah. That was not a scam. In reality, we got a good money's worth for our. Ticket prices today. In reality, 
You got fam. In reality, I had a great time. <laughs> You have it, guys. Uh, the most un unexpected outcome. What a twist! In reality, you got fammed, as Ian said. That's right. And first of all, I think you guys all did such a great job. Thank you guys all for going out there. It's so cool. And I'll say, um, you know, I'm actually glad you guys had fun. I, I, it was nice that you guys went out there and had a good time. Mm -hmm. So, so, um, thank you for dinner, by the way. We just say that. Oh, oh and yeah. Ethan covered dinner. Yeah, that's right. Covered, yeah, everyone got enjoyed Red Lobster. <laughs> Red Lobster. Oh, yeah. uh, how was the meal, by the way? I've never been there. There was like almost nothing for me to eat, so I just got salad. But everybody else seemed to really enjoy it. Oh, their biscuits are fucking fire, Yeah, did fire, you get the biscuits? The biscuits. Did you guys eat lobster the and biscuits, shit? Did you though. get all fucking crazy? On I ate like a king, I'm not going to lie. What'd you get? I got like the three-course meal thing. It's like a little bit of everything. How much, how oh, much yeah. was the bill? How much does Red Lobster cost? <laughs> don't don't worry about it. Don't don't look at the credit. I want to know how much it was. Statement. Tell yeah, me how much it was. No, I, don't I, I ordered before you said before I interrupted <laughs> it's, you. Listen, it's yeah, okay. actually, I, I'm just curious. How much does Red Lobster cost? It was 111 dollars for all of us to eat. That's nothing. Yeah, that's not Are good. you fucking kidding yeah. me? That's insane. I was just I was razzing you. What the hell? That's nuts. Well, it's because uh, he if he's not lying. We we weren't expecting you to pay for it, and then. You asked if we needed to be reimbursed for anything. I was like, well, we're at dinner right now. You want to cover dinner? And you were like, yeah, of course. Put it on the card. So if we had known that before, yeah, we might have gone a little bit more all out. Well, that 111 bucks for like, what, five people? Yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty good. <laughs> Fucking Red Lobster. Let's go. That's hella cheap. <laughs> um, well, anyway, good job, everybody. That was awesome. So what was a better deal, Red Lobster or Ace Fest? Mm, probably Red Lobster. <laughs> Red Lobster. I'm yeah, being honest. Idea. Yeah, that sounds good. I mean, the so, they had the biscuits. Which, so let me ask you this, yeah. Dan. You were hesitant to say. I said, it, I don't think you guys were scammed at all. Are you? Why were you hesitant to? Well, because they promised things for the event that weren't there. I mean, you, you know, we got to be balanced here, and so they did. I, I, I know they up kept updating the flyer right like here's the uh yeah i have it right here our mod mega awesome sent it to me a moment ago but somebody had posted this to the sub but yeah seeing it like the things slowly get removed i mean we bought when it was this or i'm sorry well, so wait free oh, wait they rides. added stuff and then subtracted it so wait they say free rides free games free prizes free performances so that one was actually true if you say DJ's performances, which eh, technically yeah. I think that would make sense. You guys can right. suck a fat donut. Okay. It's a, bit, a little misleading, but it works. Then they go free rides, free games, free prizes, access to free wildlife. Yeah, that did Access to free... I think it says park, wildlife park, which is strange <laughs> wording. Yeah, there was nothing of the sort. So, and you then, know, if you want to call that a scam, that yeah, that's definitely... And then the you know. final uh, one is free rides, free games, free prizes. Yeah. Which all of those, all of those did exist. So you know they delivered on three out of the five uh, bullet points here. I don't think it was a scam. I, I don't. I don't think so. I, I mean, the, yeah. it was misleading. Yeah. It's false advertising here a little bit. Yeah. yeah. But also, it's for their fan base, like you said. Like it's different. If you're a fan, you I feel like you're getting more than your money. That's worth. the thing. Yeah. And like I said, I mean, their fans were there. They seem to be having good times. Their fans, by the way, are exactly what I thought they were. It was a lot of young families like not just the kids being young but like the parents young you know people that had kids in like their early to mid 20s and now their kids are i guess around the age that the ace family's kids are or whatever and you know it's definitely not my scene but i guess they they find them relatable or they you know they they're they're like us but but glamorous you know but they have money and they aspire to be like them whether or not that's a good yeah. thing or not so that's that's who likes them. That's who was there, and uh, yeah, I mean, for an event for kids, it it was it was fine. It was fine. I would have voted like, based on our poll, our four ratings there of scam, shit, mid or best time of our life. It was mid. No, it yeah. was that's definitely was best time of your life. Yeah. And I want. Okay, but that's my. Did you guys not I, I see how you ended that video? Well, we were. 
hamming it up. No, no, no. Dude. <laughs> we did have a good time. I don't yeah, want to say was... any specific channel names, but a lot of people are completely full of shit. I'll just say that a lot of the pictures taken were strategically taken. <laughs> they were... A lot of the commentary channels came super early before anyone else got there. They were showing empty, like it's empty, it's deserted. Right. And I could have yep. taken similar <coughs> pictures, but it'd have to be intentional. What were some of the, the the falsehoods that are being said on other drama channels? I haven't kept up, but just, you know, like, I think someone said something about water and about how it's just empty in general. They're saying people are being charged for water. That wasn't true. That it's empty. That wasn't true. Yeah. Well, people really wanted to draw this conclusion that Ace Fest was going to be a total scam shit show. I mean, we literally went there with that narrative. In yeah. Mind. yeah. Yep. We had to change it up halfway through. We, yeah. yeah like, we, we were walking to... around and we were like, <laughs> we started to have a conversation, not on camera. We kind of recreated on camera. Mm -hmm. But that, you know, a less dramatized version of what you <laughs> saw in that video basically happened where I think Olivia was the one to break the ice. She was like, guys. I'm kind of having a good time. I started taking um, a forgiveness sympathy vlog. Because so I was like, I don't know if I can stand by whatever narrative we're going to do. Does, there you go. I mean, my goodness. And, and again, I don't, even under, I don't even know how much money they made from this. Because that looked, it looked expensive, right? To put all that there. Yeah, I saw yeah. somebody make a donation a little bit ago. I, I don't, we'll have to look into this. But apparently somebody did some digging and... They're claiming that they their expenses were twenty five grand impossible, flat, which to me seems impossible. exceptionally low. No, However, no, no, that's impossible. I I, I kind of agree. Uh, I don't know what investigation was done, so I mean maybe we can look into it. But that that seems like a stretch. I feel like the expenses had to be more than twenty five grand. Dude, hundreds of thousands. There's yeah. no fucking way. Yeah. Do you know how much of work it is just to bring those rides out and assemble them? Mm -hmm. Yep. Like, that's insane. Right, yeah. And generally with those carnivals, you know, um, when they're charging for the games and everything, you can get them for very cheap or even for free because they just take, they make their money by the carnival game. Mm -hmm, and everything. Exactly. Uh, but because it was free and all the rides were free and everything, they had to have paid them to be there. So, you know. Well, someone said, to be fair, my city carnival looks just like that. Yeah, no, I agree, but yeah, it I'm was just saying. Small okay, town but, but fair vibes. They, they did it. Imagine your city carnival, but Ethan and Eli are there. That's, you know what I mean? That's what it's for. Like, you would definitely pay that, most people. Someone said insurance liability had to be at least 25K, 100%. Right, like yeah, huge that's true. Liability. Insurance I'm just itself. saying, guys, that, 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 that's a crazy event to put on, man. I mean, I've put on stuff like that on a much smaller scale. It's super fucking expensive, dude. Yeah. Um, but there you have it, you know. speculation that they had a connect with that <coughs> venue, which would kind of explain. What venue? Like the place in Lancaster or Palmdale or whatever. They um, all they did it because it's cheap. I mean, I agree, but maybe it was even extra cheap. I mean, that would explain. Because, like, why do yeah. it in fucking Palmdale? Because like, it's cheap as fuck, Yeah, bro. for sure. But if you cheap can't as fuck means free or, like, barely anything. because If you, you tried you know to do that... If you got a lot that big anywhere closer to L.A. than fucking Lancaster, it would cost like, you know, $100,000 yeah. yeah, more. Usually. I will say next year, though, Summer of Soul better step up their game, man. Summer's I don't cool. think there's going to yeah. be a Summer of Soul next year. You should suck. Yeah. Shit, dude. <laughs> what if uh, Austin scammed the event and the carnival people instead of the fans? Oh. Really <laughs> oh, oh, that's so interesting. That. Well, better them than than the fans, I guess. I definitely agree. Uh, yeah. I mean, well, I let's guess. see if there's a lawsuit I would proceeding. Because <laughs> yeah. I hope nobody got scammed. That's a funny uh, thought. Yeah, that love. is funny. Love checks in the yeah. mail. <laughs> I will say to their credit too, when they were doing the meet and greet, they were doing it for like what eight hours, nine hours, oh God, and yeah. they like gave their all to every person that came up to see. Their full energy, dude. Awesome. That's hard. Like, I, yeah, yeah, I do not oh, know how they because I I've done meet and greets for like four or five hours. I don't know how much, but it is so hard, man. I mean, just really, really, really hard. That's that's actually another thing I wanted to address too. I saw online that people were saying that. People were being shooed away from the meet and greet, but they made a big announcement saying that now is the time, last call to get in before we shut off the meet and greet yep. uh, session. <laughs> and everybody that was in the building at that time got to see them. That's cool. Yeah. Some of the exciting proposals said I took a deep dive into it and it was 15K. No, I'm sorry, bro, but that's just not possible. You're also being sub for Dude, he has 5%. private, it would cost 50, no, I'm sorry, dude. It's just not possible. I'm really sorry. I just... It's just not possible. It was a weird phenomenon. I just felt like I was part of the family being there. 
and I didn't even notice what I did when I was like gave Austin like the dude that you shit. Know? You dabbed him up. <laughs> it was so, I, so funny. This, <laughs> funny. This is what's so funny. So, <laughs> me, Sam, and Ian were in there taking the photo, and then we drove to the restaurant separately. And in my car was me, Dan, and Cam. And I'm explaining to them how Ian was a legend, how he turned around and he got that video. And they probably thought Ian was a creep. And I'm describing it. We're cracking up. And then like. As we're pulling to the to the restaurant, I'm telling Dan, well, you know what? I don't know why the fuck I went like this to him. And then Dan started dying laughing. And I realized, oh, holy shit, that is fucking weird. Why did I? You dabbed him up like yeah, that old homie. Yeah, like I'm yeah, like my whole were, life. You guys have I was like, holy shit. That's and he cool. greeted you, right? Oh, yeah. He, he, did, he, yeah. Matched, yeah. That he matched that energy. That energy. Random he matched as it. fuck. Catherine def <laughs> definitely thought I wanted to turn her into a lampshade or something. Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. Wait, what? <laughs> why? Well. We walked up and right before, we had a whole plan of how we were going to shoot it. And right before they, they told Sam, you got to turn your camera off. No cameras. Maybe, I don't know why, Dennis, Def, when a few people right before us, he was right in front of us in line. I don't know. <coughs> and he had a little bit of an interaction with them. Maybe that's why they were having people shut off their cameras. Yeah, maybe. Probably. But So he was like, photo only. And then I was like, well, we need a, vi we need a video. And so as we were leaving, I like pulled up my phone quick. And I was like, Hey, Catherine. And <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. Oh, my God. Damn, you did good work, though. Yeah, Ian. he that did. That was awesome. You did and that. And in the video, you see me hug Ian as he walks away. It's because Ian has shaky hands like me. And so he was, like, holding his oh, she was phone. Yeah, and I, like, I embraced him as a shaky-handed brother. Yeah. I mean, you were saying, like, is. we had this, like, dawning realization throughout the day that it's, like, here's Ian, like, a guy that looks like he's like around 30 by himself, by himself. So shaking like crazy. Like, I'm so, I'm so excited to meet you. And guys. I decked like, out an ace merch. I had this and the shirt and all. Yeah, it's like, oh, we're, we're, we were the freaks. Yeah, you transformed, definitely. dude. You both became different people when you met Catherine and Austin. Yeah. <laughs> they How'd they look in person, by the way? Did Austin look, did they look good? They look good, but I thought Austin would be taller. He's a little short guy, huh? Not Sam short. Talked to, uh, Sam talked to Catherine for a bit, too. Oh, you chatted up Catherine? Catherine looked amazing. Really? Yeah, like in person, she looks just like her pictures. Wait, did like, you know that she dated Michael B. Jordan? I didn't How know that. How fucking weird that, is that? That was so crazy. We, we knew that. I think that was maybe mentioned in the context. I didn't board. know that. She dated Michael B. Jordan before Ace, before Austin. What a step down, Stop bro. Also, she dated the like, sexiest whoa, whoa, man in the world. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just okay. saying, bro, okay. he won. Yeah, last yeah, year. Yeah, yeah. All right. Hold on. Michael on, B. Dude. Jordan won sexiest man of the year last year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Austin yeah. McBroom rocks. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying, dude. Me. That's that's crazy. You gotta you gotta meet him. Meet Austin before you talk, please. So he was a stud? You'll understand. Yeah. Zach, does he yeah. fuck? <laughs> Zach in the bathroom or something? No. I, I went. Why won't you say if he fucks or not? I, uh, okay, he fucks. he fucks. Yeah, he, he fucks. fucks. He fucks. Hard, he fucks. He, he was wearing a watch that fucked. I'll give, I'll give him that. Oh, did he have a rolly on? No, it was a diamond AP. It, it, it fucks. He fucks. He fucks. All right, thank <laughs> you. Yeah, yeah. That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> By the way, here's one of these posters. So it says Ace Fest Pass. That We got the VIP, so it says... Five tickets, access, free autograph poster, which we got, guaranteed to meet and take pictures, which happened. So now you guys get Austin's next fight for free. That's really interesting. You sure do. I got the, so, the piece of paper that I, gives us the... I thought they'd be streaming yeah. it there for some reason. I don't know why. But when we were getting the wristbands at the thing, they're like, oh, here's a piece of paper to get 20... What was it? 20 for... 20 for 20% off the fight or what was No no wait, no it's you're a free, to get no, free. It is. What was 20% off then? It was if you, it was 20% off if you want to uh, get a ticket to go see it in person. That's what it was. Oh, okay. you guys got a free like streaming Stream, key? Yeah. Yeah. It's a pay-per-view okay. event. Okay. So okay. so everybody that was there got a flyer okay. with a QR code for a free stream. That's dope thing or whatever. Also, what about the wedding? Yeah, I was just saying wedding gift. I'm I mean, crossing my fingers. We guys. we left before they did go. the raffle. We messed up. Yeah, they did the raffle. After we left, so. what kind of stuff were they giving away? No, the raffle. They were giving away the access to their Attend wedding. Oh, yeah. to their wedding. You, you guys could have been front row. Uh, <laughs> and access to the fight too. Right, right. But I hope I hope they see this and they're like, oh shit, somebody actually is telling it like it is. Yes. Ace Fest was a bop. We're giving it to people straight. Yep. Well, yep. we're the real life. <laughs> now, does this call into question any of our other assumptions about the Ace family? Mm. 
I mean, maybe, I maybe agree. like on the level of like just is not a, is Austin new bestie? No, 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 no. <laughs> Let, why don't we? Call no, 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 no. Let's call it a wash. Let's just wash out. All no, I don't think it's a wash. This is a new start. I mean, I think, I think the <laughs> lesson learned is that you know, as far as putting on like a large scale event for their fans, um, they are. I wouldn't say like super good at it because again, you know, it wasn't. An amazing event by any means but speak for yourself it was it was fine and it's yeah. like in the past they did those like basketball charity events um which you know that takes some organizational skill to put on a show at staples center or whatever so yeah i i don't think that they're as far as like just outright ripping their fans off but are they <coughs> Well, they did have the one, like the, what was it, the Ace College or whatever? It's where the soundbite where he's like, in, in reality, reality, you guys you got guys scammed. Got scammed. Oh. You know that what I would scummy. be willing to do because of this Ace event? Academy. Scam at Ace Academy. Yeah, Ace there you scam go. Am Ace Scam Amity. Mm. What I would be willing to do, and I'm just going to float this out there. If Austin, if they want to call in or come on the show. They'll never do that. I would love to have a <laughs> candid conversation with them about all this stuff. And since I'm like, Listen, this event was legit, was not a scam. Then maybe y'all can can speak some truth uh, in your offense to the other accusations. I just want, I would love an official statement about how much money for charity was raised at their basketball event. That's one of the questions I would definitely ask them. Yeah, because selling out Staples Center and then donating what was it like five fifty thousand. <laughs> Was it fifty? It's been yeah, so long. yeah. Was, they said a hundred thousand. They gave fifty. Selling out Staples Center and they had super expensive food. They they definitely raised millions. Right. So and donated not, fifty thousand. A very damned. very scamily. Yeah, exactly. But I mean, all that aside, we went to report on Ace Fest. Ace Fest was all right. <laughs> there yep. you go. It was all right. How about Mostly, that? Huh? Yeah. So unexpected. Yeah. Scamily. Scamily. Yeah. Scamily. 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 Nobody's you guys are in on that. We, we, oh, we stay in Austin. Stop! One last note that I want to say, because I actually just saw somebody say, you know, fuck the whole, like, family channel thing, which, yeah, true. Um, I actually went into this thinking probably, like, the, gro like, scams aside, like, the grossest part of all of this was, like, you're going to do a fucking meet and greet with your kids. Mm-hmm. The Ace family, because it was like being presented as a meet and greet with the Ace family. Their kids, as far as any of us could tell, were not present at the event, which good for them. Like, <laughs> good. Yeah. Don't don't bring your kids to meet a bunch of strangers. Like, that would be pretty cr crazy to bring kids. To yeah, that. which they didn't do anything like that. It was just Austin and Catherine, which like, good. Leave leave the kids out of this. The kids Let used to come oh. up and reach in the pool. And also, I just want to note real quick: when a lot of people are showing these empty pictures of the uh, fair. It was because the meet and greet went from outside to indoors, mm -hmm, probably because mm -hmm. it was too hot. But there was, hot. yeah, there was majority of the people were inside probably at that time whenever That's those photos were point. taken. Yeah, those videos of like, you know, not many people around. It was because all of their fans were lined up inside mm -hmm. trying to get photos with them or and whatever. There was a shitload of people photos, in there. Shit ton, yeah. yeah. Those photos were also like right when it opened up too. So yeah. I don't know if everybody mm -hmm. piled in at that point or anything, but it was right when the event started. I mean, right when we pulled in, we saw how many commentary channels just when we rolled up. So yeah. Um, what was the bathroom situation like? Uh, I they had poor bathrooms, but also what was it in the uh, meet and greet section? There was like indoor bathrooms. Yeah, there were there. bathroom facilities, and then there were also porta potties. There are people saying that the kids were there in the morning before they moved it indoors. Um, okay, well maybe the kids were there at some point. They weren't there when we were there, so. Well, there you have it, and and you know, a uh, very unexpected outcome. Now, obviously, I have to give a, 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 an honorable mention to Deaf Noodles, who went all out. He went for it. He gave me the IDubs meeting Tana kind of vibes. Yeah. I mean, obviously, a lot less extreme. Let's be frank, but you know, shout out to, to all the hey, Dennis is like huge, by the way. He's a big ass fucking dude. Yeah, he was like ten people ahead of us. Um, I'm pretty sure this is why they made you turn off the cameras, but yeah. Dennis went for it. He live streamed it, and um, well, here it is.
said, how do I learn to scam as good as you guys? So he really went for it. I'm for real. I'm a fan. Come on, let's have a No, for real. Come on, let's have a 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 Come on, let's have because I didn't want people, because we were talking the whole way in line, like interviewing him and going back and forth. Um, but yeah, I was definitely a little scared that they would recognize that we were together. Um, you know what was interesting? I saw you guys with Dennis in back in Ace Fest, just not in the meet and greet FEMA uh, emergency camp. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't kick him out of the festival, just no, out of the meet and greet. No, it was right out those doors. How about that, yeah. huh? They didn't even kick him out. They didn't kick him out. They just said, move along. Idiot. There you have it, it guys. Is. So Ace Fest turn was not as it kind of went off uh, without a hitch. I had so a smile, goddamn, dude. I had a smile on my face all day yesterday editing it too. There you go. I was just reading. Austin is actually from Palmdale, so maybe he does. That have some, is from Palmdale. Yeah, so maybe he has some kind of. I forget who told to me that or whatever. Maybe it was even Def mentioned that he had heard that or. Also, I forget, but I, I heard from somebody that the McRooms had some connection to that venue. Okay. Also, Ace Hat, their company is registered out there, and that's where their offices are. Palmdale? Yeah. Jesus. I was just from there originally, I guess. Okay, well, shout the fuck out, dude. They made it happen. Yeah. Downtown represent. There you go. I mean, we went there going to hate. We went there to hate, but we just couldn't do it. Thank you, member berries, for... Uh, <laughs> 50 gifted stuff. I think that one might actually be somebody different. Yeah, that might be someone new. Member days. It's my birthday, and a new episode is the perfect <laughs> So, that's that. Um, shout out. So, open invitation to the, to the McBrooms. And that's that. And that's that. Um, we've got a lot of other stuff. What else we got here? Um, I'll be honest. Nothing is quite as interesting as that. We do have the Dolly image generator. I've been wanting to do that. Oh, damn. Are too. you up for that? That Maybe we should save that for Wednesday because it's going to take a... Yeah, I'm that's a little fatigued. A, really? Yeah, Cam, has, uh, Cam pulled a, some, a long weekend to get that beautiful edit to us all. Oh, so. what I didn't know it had like involved work for him to do the Dolly too. Yeah, it, he, well... So he's Don't you gonna, just type shit in? Yeah, but the whole concept of the sketch is... Oh, right, it. man versus machine. Yeah. yeah. Right. I want to be on my A, a game. He wants to be on his A game. Got it, got it, got it. Yeah, you guys have heard... Oh, people keep saying the James Webb photos are out. We should show those. Can you pull those up? So James Webb, you guys know, it's the most Webb. powerful telescope ever created by like a factor of like 100 times stronger than uh, yeah. the Hubble. I've been waiting, waiting patiently for these James Webb photos. Let's fucking get those up. I thought they didn't come out until the 14th. Uh, are they out early? Not. Well, I don't think these are the full ones, right? Um, I don't know. People are just saying James Webb, so I don't know. I, I thought they were releasing four photos. Um, I thought it was actually tomorrow. 18 12th. minutes ago. NASA to unveil first images. Yeah, only, James I Webb. think only one today. Okay, let's see it. They released one. Bring it up. I want it. Give me the link. Link! I got it's it. It's in there. Hold it's on. There. Spooky alien music. President Biden? What the? Why is President Biden sharing it? How did he get involved in all this? Well, it's NASA. It's I mean, he's... He's a president. It's to distract He's from. stealing clout from NASA, bro. They've been working on this for decades. He wanted to he, win. He's stealing clout from his son, I'm who's being a fucking the, baller all over the internet. Oh, yeah, Hunter fucks. <laughs> dude, Hunter Biden <laughs> is having the time of his life, dude. I'm jealous of how much fun that motherfucker's out there having. <laughs> dude, not that video. The fan cam? <laughs> <laughs> dude, he's hanging out with all these hotties, smoking crack. Living it up, man. They're he, try, they're trying to cancel him, and they just they're just making him more and more powerful. DJ TJ ain't got shit on Hunter Biden. He's, you know what? He's Hunter Biden's gonna be like doing DJs. 
He's gonna be a DJ by the end of the year, like at foam parties oh. and shit. Hell yeah, getting like dude. a million dollars a gig. He's probably done that, dude. He fucks, dude, hard. <laughs> well, yeah, he on camera, right? I mean, you can yes. see yes. it. Quite and literally. he's got a he's got a does he have a hog i never saw well he's got a phd got a dude he's got a doctorate <laughs> he's got that perfect hunter dong phd my guy wait so he really has a hog the he's dude hog. the dude is packing heat for damn. sure damn he's got a phd dude the yeah. biden's huh yeah <laughs> a phd <laughs> pretty i've been seeing them saying that on the housewives phd means pretty huge dick is that what it means well he's saying perfect, perfect hunter, hunter dong, dong. a yeah. perfect hunter dong yeah. more curated i was gonna put him uh, put... that means joe biden's packing probably isn't that interesting it could and the hair of be... legs and a big old fucking and cock. Hot. i got a lot of i got i got, got a big old cock i learned about kids <laughs> jumping on my lap i got kids jumping on my big old cock i get your word straight jack oh, giant shit. juicer <laughs> that's a juicer <laughs> anyway here it is back to nasa ship Sneak peek at the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the early universe ever taken. All in a day's work for the Webb telescope. Literally capturing it took less than a day. This is Webb's first image released as we begin to unfold the universe. That's one small step for man. One I feel like I need more. Con obviously, it's a beautiful photo, but I feel like I need more context. Well, to really the appreciate. Whole, I mean, you're looking back in time. <laughs> billions and billions of years right here which is pretty cool in of itself um that's kind of the whole thing they're hoping to get out of this uh telescope from what i understand that you know the further you look the further back in time you're seeing essentially and so we are looking at a picture of the universe in its early days which is pretty wild oh that's sick i thought it was an iphone wallpaper yeah i mean it looks <laughs> yeah exactly i mean i've seen screensavers that are doper no, let's let's re get more details. <laughs> On Monday, July 11th, President Joe Biden, clout goblin, released one of James Webb's telescope's first image in a preview event. Um, they will release a full set of Webb's first full color images. Um, the first image from NASA's James Webb telescope is the deepest and sharpest infrared image of the distant universe to date. Known as Webb's first deep field. This deep image. <laughs> this, that was so fast, bro. <laughs> he was sitting on it. Uh, this image of galaxy cluster smacks 0723 is overflowing with detail. Thousands of galaxies. Smacks? That's what they said. So this is smack camp. Oh, I, I, it's S M A C S. I was just kind of imp improvising. Smacks. It smacks. It smacks. Thousands of gal galaxies, including the faintest objects ever observed in infrared, have appeared in Webb's view for the first time. The slice of the vast universe covers a patch of sky approximately the size of a grain of sand held at arm's length by someone on the ground. That's tiny. That's pretty incredible. Damn. One tiny grain of sand has got thousands of galaxies in it. That's fucking nuts. Someone in chat said, you are seeing some of the first stars and galaxies to form after the Big Bang. That is pretty sweet. Released one by one, the first images from the world's first and largest and most powerful space telescope will demonstrate Webb at its full power, ready to begin its mission to unfold the infrared universe. The first images will be added to this page as they're released. So there you have it. A grain of sand at arm's length bag of turd you know flaming turd Fuck, bag that's crazy bro that's that's not so there you have it what's this big boy here who's this dirty dude crushing it with that vibe mad vibes there i think cam sent a closer up photo in discord <laughs> okay here this is this you guys were wondering what's the big star it's hunter biden covering <laughs> his tits <laughs> wow yeah that, that, that does look like him Imagine you're the this probably all went down when when his dad was VP, right? Uh, no, I think this happened even older, newer, newer. Because oh, this happened since he was president. I don't think since or he while was Trump president. was president. no, 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 while Trump was president. Yeah, yeah but it was like definitely within the last few on, years. It's definitely after Obama was president because the quality of the phone he's recording on. I mean, he could get his shit together. How old is he? <laughs> I mean, he could get his life together a little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, he's a serious drug addict. Yeah, that's sad. That sucks. Biden is in the sweet dad, though. Every time there's they've tried to, like, expose Biden, it's always, like, really sweet, unconditional love for his son. He's 52? Fuck, bro. Bag of meth and some camel red. gotta get you clean, buddy. 52? <laughs> I just, you know. I love this guy. But I don't think it makes Joe Biden look, it's, the whole thing is so pathetic. I mean, come on. If anything, it makes him look cooler in a way. It's Joe got Biden? A, got a son that fucks, dude, you know? <laughs> I think, well, I, that, I've seen that a lot out there, that take. <laughs> I think it was Matt Watson who posted on Twitter, the fact that he looks so much like Joe Biden makes those videos so much better. <laughs> dude, really looks a yeah. lot like Joe. That's what I'm saying. Joe Biden's got a fat fucking... A geriatric hog, dude. <laughs> no wonder. He, no wonder he tipped over on that bike, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Too much weight on yeah. one side. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to ride a bike with the third leg. Yeah, dude. Tripod. Yeah, there you go. A uh, cool man. Well, let's keep showing the the images as they come out. It's pretty exciting stuff here, Bucko. Bucko. But you know. It could go deeper, though, right? Deeper. Like, what's back here? What's this? You know what I'm saying? Deeper. What's this? Tell me about deeper. this. That's uh, Tatooine. <laughs> deeper! That might be some type of nebula. Um, hmm. 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 What are you, an astronomer now? I did take a, a semester of <laughs> okay, astronomy. What you got? Oh, and like okay. us. Yeah, what, Tell me what more what about that. Yeah. What well, kind of a, nebula is a, it? A, I, forgive me if I'm wrong here, <laughs> but isn't a nebula a star that. Nope, you're wrong. <laughs> it's gas. It's, it's just not gas a star. In this space. Then what is it when a, a, a star explodes and creates galaxies? It's a supernova. Uh, a supernova, but that wouldn't create galaxies. That would create a nebula. Stars, yeah. Start. So it's full circle. I don't think they know how galaxies are made, to be honest. Well, I thought it's stars exploding. Isn't that what it is? No. <coughs> well, it's galaxy is much bigger We're than talking a star. On totally different scales here. Yeah, yeah, galaxy has billions of trillions, maybe even of stars in it. Well, look. I don't think they know how galaxies form exactly. I think they know that galaxies form around supermassive black holes. They've recently confirmed that. But I don't think they know about the formation of galaxies. Well, you know, hashtag Pangea, my guy. Wow. Hashtag Hog Nation. Wow. That was like a three-year-old callback. Wait, what did Zach say? I had a callback, too, but that one actually <laughs> overdated mine. <laughs> I was going to say you're thinking of the Tulip Galaxy. <laughs> he said hashtag Pangea, which we, we were... It, a conversation from like three years ago on the show where... Zach misunderstood what Pangea was and then started vehemently arguing with all of us. Wait, no, that's not, that's not what happened. That's not what happened. You want to tell him, Cam? I was just going to say, hashtag Napoleon swam back. That's yeah, right. I remember Napoleon. Oh, he yeah. swam. That yeah. was a good one. Yeah, Napoleon swam. <laughs> back from X. That motherfucker swam, he bro. Did Get swam, across yeah. the channel or whatever. That's right, dude. But anyway, there you go. Um, pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we love it. Joe Biden clout goblin acting like he took this photo. <laughs> uh, but there you have it. Cool. Beautiful. Keep it coming. Le drop a like on that. Oh, what are they saying? There's more intel here. This isn't the furthest back we've observed. Okay. Non-infrared missions like COBE and WMAP saw the universe closer to the Big Bang about 380,000 years after. And there was only microwave background radiation, but no stars or galaxies. Webb sees a few hundred thousand years after the Big Bang. Interesting. If you held a grain of sand up to the sky at arm's length, that tiny speck is the size of the Webb's view in this image. Imagine galaxies galore within a grain, including light from galaxies that traveled billions of years to us. I kind of want to click this. Go off. Go, don't show it. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that's just a goof. This is what they posted. McDonald's. Uh, Alien epic. At McDonald's. Yeah, sick. Okay, now this is epic. Um, cool. How long have we been going? Uh, two hours and twenty minutes. So I mean, in terms of other stuff to do, we've got um, the Gentle Minions TikTok. We've got the Elon Musk 
knocked up one of his top executives at the same time as Grimes, class act. Yep. Oh. Who has more kids, him or Nick Cannon? He does. With he has the, more kids than no Nick way. Cannon? With the twins, he beats them. They were tied, but the twins give him. Dude, that's gnarly because everyone's like, Yo, Nick Cannon is mentally ill the way he's having kids with all these different baby mamas, but Elon Musk is doing it too. I don't know why Elon Musk is obsessed with reproducing. It's like, dude, you don't you want those kids to actually have a f- dad? Like, having a bunch of kids who are like fucked up daddy issues is not going to help anyone. Yeah, agreed. Especially billionaire ones. Guaranteed, those kids are going to be one of those kids. At least is going to be a serial killer. Guaranteed. Well, he's just trying to secure the existence for <laughs> his people in the future of. The white race. The white children. Yo, do the <laughs> Elon tweet. Just he drop. says, doing my best uh, to help underpopulation crisis. A collapsing birth rate is the biggest danger civilization faces by far. Okay, but you know what? It's not true. Let's just, well, I th- I think he's overstating it, yeah. Seems like we're more plateauing um, than collapsing birth rates, but don't worry about that, Elon. Dude, how much time a week do you spend with the, with each one of your kids? I mean, seriously, dude. Do you even remember all their names? Well, he forgot X, I... Yeah. He forgot the name during an interview. You're right. He was like, who is... Who's that? Yeah, he and goes, they're like, how's, how's X, Ash, whatever today? Yeah. He's like, who? Who? He's like, <laughs> so oh, I thought funny. you were telling me like a password or something. Mm. Idiot. It's your Did child, you picture with Nick, the Pope? Nick Cannon replied to that, by the way. Sorry. Before you close it. He goes, mark my words, they are sadly true. Okay, whatever. I saw a really funny meme that was like, uh, the, uh, Elon Musk um, pulled out of the Twitter deal, unlike every time he has sex. I don't know, something about him not being able to pull out. Yeah, thank you. Nick Cannon says, right there with you, my brother. Guys, this is not, like, <laughs> funny. You're just, you're creating fatherless kids. I mean, what the fuck? By the way, Elon posted this, which is, like, top-level copium cringe, and people love it. A million likes. I mean, dude, imagine living in a world where people are just simping for oligarchs. This man is the richest man in the world. He's conning everybody, and people are just simping for him. Like, daddy, yes, please. I paid thirteen billion in taxes this year, which is more than anyone that ever lived. Simp for me. Yeah, how much? So, what is your effective tax rate? Like five percent? Shut up, bitch. Five percent. They said I couldn't buy Twitter. Then they wouldn't disclose bot info. Now they want to force me to buy Twitter in court. Now they have to disclose bot info in court. Wow, five D chess. No, we all knew you weren't going to buy it from the beginning. There you have it. Um, it was weird. Pretty cringy. Thanks, Elon. Did you see Elon Musk picture with the Pope? He looks super funny. Uh, where? No. I think it's on his Twitter. What's this I got here? Elon Musk posted a picture of uh, an Elden Ring boss? Why? I'm not sure. There was no caption. Just a picture of this Elden Ring boss. All right. Very good. Very good. Very cool. Yeah. Very good. Um, yeah. So also, it just came out that one of his top executives for uh, his Neuralink company mm-hmm. just had twin babies by him. Isn't that like unethical to be knocking up one of your employees? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Especially while you are like have another woman pregnant. At the exact same time. Yeah, it just came out that while Grimes was giving birth to his kid, uh, XYZ, uh, Ash 20, whatever. XYZ. I don't know. Uh, this woman was giving birth secretly to twins. What a legend. Yeah, they're just weeks in between. Dude, he wants to be like Genghis Khan. Like, he's literally an oligarch. He goes, he's living like a fucking king. He goes, I'll fuck everybody and anything, have a gajillion kids. And nobody's going to tell me what to do ever. Like, and everyone's going to worship me, which they do by choice, which is nuts. And I'll give you the biggest horse I have for favors, allegedly. Oh, yeah. And the horse for a, that's, for a handy? That's some Genghis Khan shit, yeah. 
Yeah. I I'm... must say that I've had some post-coital regrets about that phrase. <laughs> so good. I still think he could have offered a better deal for a handy than a horse. Just saying. Two horses. It was two horses? No, no, no. That's a better deal. Two horses yeah. instead of one. Pair of horses. Yeah. It is double. It depends on the horse. As yeah. we've talked about on yeah, the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that horse is. Hey, but here she is. Um, I guess she's a pretty big deal. Here she's with Justin Trudeau. Yeah, she's very educated. Um, went to Ivy League school. She's a strong supporter of Elon. She Oh, she's at Elon Simp? Yeah. And she changed the kid's name to Musk. And, um, well, I don't know. I guess I shouldn't judge her... Uh, or whatever she wants to do with her family, but I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Hey, are this Is this her? She made a tweet about it? Yeah. No, this is like showing her. Okay. She was like. Oh, this is on, 2020. Yeah, she's on Twitter all the time defending him, mm -hmm. his attackers and stuff. You must love that. Lorenza uh, Gonzalez Fletcher said, fuck Elon Musk. And then she responded, this makes me sad. No one's perfect, but I never met anyone who goes through more personal pain to fight, fight for an inspiring future for humanity and done so tirelessly for decades. Everyone's entitled to their opinion, but mine is that there's no one I respect and admire more. That's kind of nutty that he knocked her up. Yeah, okay. and She has like a cult-like obsession with him. I feel like they're both going to try to transcend their conscience together. Like, honestly, I'm not even making a joke. I feel like I could see them both looking into that. You think they're trying to zap their consciousness to the cloud? I mean, when you have that complex already, thinking that you're an emperor who wants to live forever. Well, that's what Neuralink's all about, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It would make sense that they, they shared those ideals. Yeah, because she's the Cyberlink lady. Yeah. She works on artificial intelligence, biological intelligence. Well, wasn't that biologically intelligent to get knocked? Yeah, maybe it was. She's probably set for life, dude. <laughs> there is that. Those kids ain't going to have a dad, though. And she says, whatever exists between and beyond. Yeah, she's trying to live forever. You're right. Freaks. <laughs> but okay, I mean, listen, if, they, uh, if that's what they want to do, God bless. Um, Reminds me of Epstein. Remember Epstein? Like all, that was like one of the other weird things. He wanted As to freeze. Aside it, from though. the whole pedo thing, he, he like was freezing his sperm and like was donating to all of these like colleges that were researching like gene breeding and stuff, like in eugenics and all of that. And it's right. Like the great irony. He wanted to live forever, and yet he took his own life. Hmm. Fascinating, isn't mm. it? Mm. With the asterisks, of course. A little asterisk there. Yeah. Yeah, so. Um, he says, contrary to what many think, the richer someone is, the fewer kids they have. I'm that rare exception. I, I'm doing my part. Ha ha. Uh -huh. There she is. Fucking hell, man. This guy, this guy will fuck anything that walks, bro. He'll give you a baby. You want a baby? He's giving out babies. Well, at least he, you know he can afford it. Nick Cannon, I'm not so sure. I know he's, like, rich, but, like, with 13 kids? That shit racks up, man. Like, what's Nick Cannon worth these days? He used to do America's Got Talent. Right. His was, show on... 45 million? Oh, he's fine. He can have another mm. 20 babies. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a billion, but it should be okay. He's, that's enough. Yeah, that's enough. Well, there you go, man. Elon is such a fucking weirdo, dude. It's just crazy. I, the weirdest thing about him that makes me hate him the most is just his full meme thing. That he thinks he's like this meme guy and he steals memes. and but I, It's just it's fucking whack and weird. It's like pathological. It makes me like the dude reposts nine gag memes all day, and I don't know. It's just kind of fucked up, don't you think? Yeah, we have one of them in the doc. Oh, really? Yeah, it's, it's highlighted right here under the Twitter deal. It's right under that section. Um, Musk pulls out of the Twitter deal. Let's take a look. 
So AB coming out with uh, another great moment here. AB just told me to open this. Yeah, I know. You already looked at the first one, but keep scrolling. Oh, okay, okay. I'm I sorry I can't see moment. the future. I'm trying here. No, no, no. It wasn't <laughs> when you your told fault. me to add it last night is when I added it. Mmm. Okay, right. mm. AB notorious for not, you know. I won't, I'm not going to throw, I'm not even going to criticize you. I'm saying not paying attention, but you do have had several that's moments where I'm you send me things that we just talked about. I thought that's because I, I'm the only one that has to listen to other stuff. No, it's great. You're doing your job, and we love that. Oh, God, the Chuck mate. Dude. It's so cringy, dude. By the way, he has one piece. I think that's an L, bro. I think you lost big time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't. Pretty sure that's a loss. <laughs> Chuck mate. Oh, yeah. So he found this on Nine Gag, dude. And he it was called Chuck mate. So epic. I'm sorry, but he's reposting nine gags. It's SoFlo vibes. It's, it's literally like, yep, you know, playing checkers while I'm playing chess. So, 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 why does it is it cool when Elon is doing exactly what SoFlo did, <laughs> and he got like laughed off the internet for it <laughs> ten years ago? <laughs> anyway, shout the fuck out <laughs> to Elon Musk, father of nine kids, and still. Producing. Yep. Exactly. Who will die with more kids? Uh, Nick Cannon or Elon? We shall see. Yeah, of course, Elon pulled out of the Twitter deal, which many of us knew and predicted would happen. Um, Rudy G. Oh, so anyway, moving on. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani is selling slides. This was a July 4th special. Disgusting. This man was the mayor of New York. And a fucking president's attorney. This dude straight up tweeting out great products at a reasonable price. Use code Rudy for additional savings. Motherfucking Rudy Giuliani out here with new sandals. Regular price 80 bucks on sale for 50. Great savings. MyPillow.com. Promo code Rudy, ladies and gentlemen. We love that. Rudy Giuliani. You nasty, <laughs> filthy, sloppy, disgusting, filthy fucking animal. Yes. <laughs> I love that sound, but I've been waiting for that. That, of course, is uh, what's his name? Michael Rappaport. Rappaport. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is just awesome. I mean, this is idiocy is right awesome. here. And it's a sexual dance. <laughs> Dude, Rudy's down bad. He's fucking slinging sandals. <laughs> What do you have to do with sandals, Rudy? I bet you his feet are so fucked up. You know his his oh, toenails are all black and yellow. Yeah, filthy fucking Onions. animal. Mm -hmm. This guy ain't never putting on sandals. Oh boy. So we love that. Oh, he totally he deleted it. Well, after the sale. Oh yeah. After he made his bag. I wonder how much he sold. <laughs> I think he needs every dollar they can get right now. Here we go. Oh shit! They're even more discounted now. On mypillow.com, they were 50, 49.99. Now they're 39.98. <laughs> so the savings go even deeper, folks. Um, code Rudy. He's Code Rudy. All sizes are still available in black, gray, black, or black. Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> so a whole bunch of options here. Yeah, Anal testimonials sex. seem legit. Let's see, testimonials, five star, reviewed by Rudy. <laughs> Great product at reasonable price. Wait, that's literally what he said. Oh, yeah. You, re you reviewed your own. <laughs> Wait. Uh -huh. You wrote this review. 7 1. That's the day he posted. Yes, yes. No, that's Rudy Giuliani's review. <laughs> Rudy, you left a review of your own damn sandal. Oh, my God. That's such a good catch. Holy shit. <laughs> Well, you know, he was smart to do that because that's 25% of the ratings right there. So Yeah. Is there only four? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, can I leave a review? One star. Is that fucked up? Yeah, no, no, no. You got, literally got sued for this. No, hold on. I'll do five stars. I'll say not Rudy Giuliani. <laughs> Wait, I don't know how to spell his last name. Hold on. Just, you know what? Don't even look it up. Just spell it out. <laughs> no, this I need to convince hey, you. G-I- you Floppy, disgusting, -I -I. fucking animal. Best sandals ever made. 
fuck my tits and asshole. <laughs> Just leave it with all the typos. It's funnier. No, stop. A little Nas. Why, Mike? Why can't I spell sandals, you guys? <laughs> is it? <laughs> and then, why is it not giving me an autocorrect? <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, buddy. I can't spell you. <laughs> it's with an A. It's with an A. It's right above. Well, no, it's Johan August Sandals. <laughs> oh, okay, see, just leave it. <laughs> it says men's slide sandals at the top. S A N D A L S. Fuck, best sandals ever made. Not Rudy Giuliani. Love these sandals. <laughs> I got mine for forty nine ninety nine, and now it's thirty nine ninety nine. Can I get my 10, 10 bucks back? Great sandals, by the way. <laughs> Still love them. Called Rudy. Let's see if this makes it to the website. Yeah, dude. Dude, tell me it's there already. Now they got to review it. Damn. I feel like that might, it might slip by. I'll keep checking on it. But let's read the other ones. Been using my pillow for 10 years. What the fuck? That's even about the sandals. <laughs> There's only four reviews on the whole website. Men's slide product. sandals for Father's Day. I cannot wait for my men's slide sandals for Father's Day. Motherfucker, you don't even have them. I cannot wait for them, you said. Yeah, five stars. <laughs> How do you know? Wilbur said, about to order my third pair. So let me get this straight. This guy's been using it for 10 years. And this guy needs three pairs. Yep. Yeah. I mean, I believe one guy's from the future. With the call of these slippers, I'm very excited to get the sandals too. So he also he has never worn them yet. He has three pairs. I dare you to post my real Wait, review. One of the names for was I Gal or I G A L. Does that stand for interconnectional grouping of accountants, possibly? Or I Gal? Yeah. I'll right. Google it. What does it mean? No, 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 if you go down, there's like a accountants, lawyer thing, firm. Intercontinental grouping of accountants and lawyers. <laughs> Interesting. That might Isn't be an organization like a he's a part of, you think? Yeah. So he wrote, so Rudy coming out with the two reviews. From the alt accounts? It's a sexual dance. Anal sex. <laughs> what a fucking goon, dude. What the fuck, dude? Uh, this my pillow guy. He made like hundred million dollars from this shit. He's like they rich as hell. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Wait, is he still doing it? Oh my god, this dude has Steve Bannon on his website. Like one of the greatest provocateurs, uh, propagandists, white supremacist piece of shit in the world. He proudly sponsoring Steve Bannon's War Room pandemic special. Jesus. So 300 million, Mike Lindell's net worth. 300 million from this fucking site? What the fuck, dude? <coughs> How do you make that much money selling pillows anyway? How many pillows do you sell? It's only 20 bucks, too. How much are you, how much are you, how much are you making these pillows for? It's an awful product, too. Like estimations are kind of all over the place. I'm pretty sure I tried one a long time ago because, like, you're always in the market for a good pillow. Right. Mm -hmm. It was horrible. Yeah, it sucked. <laughs> so funny that it sucked. Oh my god, dude. Dude, he used to be like all over like QVC and like HSN, like just slinging that shit. Oh, Sling you can buy this poster, by the way. This uh, Vanessa Satin print Lion of Judah. Wait, that's fire! Isn't that like the pr Passion of the Christ, like movie poster, Jesus, with the lion? No, not with the lion, but I mean like oh, the behind Jim, the lion. Jim Caviezel, Caviezel, the actor. Is that what you're talking about? You can get this on sale yeah. with promo code twenty eight bucks. It's a uh, the one of the elders said to me, "Do not weep. See the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David." Mom and Dad. Has triumphed. He is able to open the scroll and its seven seals. Revelation 5 5. Death cult. 
Hey, um, not to do our boy Austin dirty like this. What happened? But I have received this. Give it to me. From a fan. Only that, you get great parking, free parking. You get to meet the Ace family. Dude, I knew he said free parking. There it is. And he, they wrote it somewhere, too. Only that, you get great parking, free parking. Another broken promise. Yeah, it was 10 bucks to park. It's No, no, no. It's free after you pay. There are free parking spaces. Maybe that's what he meant. Oh, they're available. Like they're the, like li yeah. physically available. Right. You have to pay for them, but then there will be free spots available for you to That's well, a very generous uh, interpretation. You guys oh, well, can suck you know. a fat donut, okay? <laughs> Maybe if we showed them our VIP when we first got in there, it's possible. I mean, I didn't. Hell no. What the no. fuck? Mike Liddell selling stop bleeding in seconds. <laughs> What? Wait, stop. Oh, that's a good deal. <laughs> what the fuck is this? For minor cuts to large bleeding wounds? It's just band-aids. Large? No, it's some kind of powder. Okay. Bleed stop for large Bond gaping wounds. For hemo... Is Baseball it hemophilia? Where? Let's yeah. see. You don't blood clot or whatever? Yeah. It says, um, used by hospitals and first responders, keep your children and family safe. <laughs> Be prepared. Bleed stop uh, test on the next episode. We all cut our palms and pour some of this shit on there. Here, he does a video about it. <laughs> Is he going to cut his palm? <laughs> Let's see this shit, bro. <laughs> oh, I am Mike Lindell. <laughs> <laughs> There's no better product to stop massive major bleeding than this. <laughs> um, Why is there no audio? I need to hear a boy. Oh, here. Vincent, my yes, pillow, I too. was faced with every adversity you could think of. By the grace of God, I was able to get through all that and learn from it. I have a passion to help other U.S. entrepreneurs, and that's why I created MyStore.com. We have thousands of products available, <laughs> and today I want to show you one of them called Bleed Stop. We've all been there. Just when you least expect it or when you might be running behind, you accidentally cut yourself. Wouldn't it be great to have a quick and easy way to stop bleeding? Hello, I'm Mike Lindell. Bro, I'm how many times are you, like, fatally bleeding at home that a Band-Aid isn't good enough for? I wanted to be a... <laughs> I'll never forget one time. Well, I mean, I'm sure, that, like, this is a product you could get in any pharmacy. Like, why is he selling? It's just such a, a niche product. <laughs> yeah. Is he still I'll never forget one time I was high on crack. <laughs> I was totally delirious and I cut my whole finger off. I, 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 splashed, through, <laughs> I splashed through a glass door of a restaurant. trying. I couldn't there. see the restaurant and I was all fucked up on crack. I smashed through that bitch. My face was gushing blood. I thought I would die for sure. And through the kitchen came an angel named Jesus. He had with him a bleed stop. He poured it on my face. The bleeding stopped instantly, and I haven't forgot that angel since. The bleed stop could save your family. I was doing crack with Hunter Biden one time. <laughs> I was doing that. And the pipe broke. Yeah. <coughs> the oh. pipe broke and shattered my wrist. An angel came and poured this on me. His name was actually Angel. <laughs> he was a good man. Sucked a mean cock. Those days are long behind me now. Use code ANGEL. <laughs> get part of Bleed Stop because it works, it helps people, and it's made in the USA. I get approached by people all the time with new bleeding. products and He's ideas. But gushing Bleed Stop blood. is different. It's truly one of the best products. It says products. major cuts, minor cuts to major wounds, bro. That's like a bullet bear hole. attack. Yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> My son was attacked by a bear. His blood was everywhere. The bear was halfway done to consuming his flesh. I put some bleed stuff on him and it closed all of his wounds immediately. <laughs> My son still died, but the blood that we saved that day meant everything. People come up to me on the street all the time. With blood just gushing like a <laughs> fucking fire hose, like Kill Bill. Just... I keep blood Good stop with me in a flask stop. and yeah. splash it on the wounds and I see. People think I'm a saint. I'm just a man with bleed stop. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I've ever a seen. Bit of fairy if dust. you've ever been frustrated by a minor cut that won't stop bleeding, or had an accident or an emergency <laughs> situation where you oh, need to quickly stop bleeding. 
you need bleed stop it's a safe non-stinging organic powder that's clinically proven to quickly and easy promo code blank promo code bleed oh no nothing easily stop bleeding and start healing everyday cuts <coughs> scrapes and even major wounds bandages can be clumsy sure they'll cover your wound but they don't do much to stop the bleeding bleed yes, stop they do. works Simply put bleed stop onto any cut or wound, apply pressure, and watch the bleeding stop. Bleed stop <laughs> is FDA cleared and effective for people on blood thinners. It's crack. Be sure to Wait, keep bleed stop cleared. in your medicine cabinet. Yeah, that doesn't sound I've never heard, I've never heard that cleared? word. Cleared? I've heard FDA approved. I've I don't I don't know what FDA cleared. What does means. FDA cleared mean? Is anybody anybody out there in the audience sounds familiar close. with FDA cleared? And with you wherever you go, help protect yourself, your family, and loved ones. Bleed stop is a necessity, easy to apply, it doesn't burn, it doesn't sting. It's truly one of the best products I've ever seen. So go to mystore.com and use the It's the, the best product I've ever seen right behind my collagen pills. Right here. My collagen raspberry lemonade pills. <laughs> what does collagen do? I don't even know. Donald the Caveman books. He has like the pet bleed stopper for pets too. I don't know if you saw that. Bleed clot for pets, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> it's so niche. It's like bleed clot for hamsters. Collagen helps for skin elasticity. <laughs> the bleed clot for pets. What? Does he have a video for this one? I need a separate box for my pets. More about this. Ideal for dogs, cats, birds, and other pets. When used in grooming settings, bleed clot pets coagulate technology makes. Uh, Stife tick powder obsolete. Okay. This store is kind of slaps. Have you seen Donald the Caveman, though? It's such a strange assortment of products here. Donald the Caveman drains the swamp. Mike's the most IRL Tim and Eric character out there. I agree. I mean, his Dude, whole like, so true. thing is like a Cinco commercial. <laughs> Yo, so on. why is Donald a caveman? Donald it's just not that flattering. Right. After Donald the caveman draped the swamp and built the wall, everyone was happy. Everyone, that is, except freedom haters who called themselves the resistance. Is this a pillow website? <laughs> <laughs> Led by an evil sorceress named Madame Miss Speaker. The resistance tried to contract ev contradict everything Donald said to make himself seem like a bad leader. So are you just trying to brainwash kids? Like, what the fuck? I mean, yeah. It seems like they pretty quickly dropped the pretense of this being like a like a children's book. Like they're just talking about like just politics now <laughs> halfway through the paragraph. Dude, this is fucking nuts. Is that AOC on the right? Yeah, it's, that must be Bernie, and, Bernie? and uh Pelosi. Oh, and the tweet the Twitter birds are yeah. pooping on them. Based on a true story, it says. <laughs> These people are mentally ill, man. They have like, tooth repair <laughs> kits. Yes. Where's that? I need the tooth <laughs> so repair. I've sent a bunch of stuff in Discord. It's like, Wait, <laughs> if you if you go deep into like, like in the back end, you can find some weird shit. What's on clearance? I wonder. Uh, it's all just pillows and shit. Why does he so much shit on his website? Wait, is this real? Hold on. Hmm. Send me link. Okay. Yeah, what are the odds from crack addict to CEO? What's that? That's the cover <laughs> that's the photo? Cover? No, <laughs> it's just like a, they used. Yeah. I guess that's just like, this is me on crack. <laughs> yeah. I love the mustache always stayed the same. Even in crack addiction, that shit stayed heavily manicured. What are the odds? <laughs> from crack addict to CEO, back to crack addict. My journey. Okay. Yeah, let me this, see this. This is fucking amazing temporary tooth replacement <laughs> kit. Temporary dent. Have you? Can you not afford to go to the dentist? Oh, look, Matt Walsh used it. <laughs> if you need to, if you need all your money for crack, you're not going to be able to afford to go to the dentist. Bro, what is this? It's if you need teeth for a second. <laughs> what am I looking it's like? At? Teeth for a month. looks like caviar. Foolproof do-it-yourself pro- I think we need one of these. Foolproof do-it-yourself. No I special need equipment help. needed. Online instructional videos. The hell the hell does the tooth placement shit work? Dude, this fucking website rules, dude. 
there's no reviews to the teeth stuff, so I feel like we should be the first. I didn't get that. Try rephrasing your question or start over. <laughs> hey, you can buy a Mike Liddell life-size cutout cardboard for 40 bucks. Seriously. <laughs> Should we buy one of these? Oh, we kind of do need Get your very own Mike Lindell life-size cutout. All proceeds go to the Lindell Recovery Network. What does that mean? Oh, there's a bunch of reviews. Check this out. Fun surprise. My friend surprised me on my birthday by putting this outside my kitchen window. So when I woke up, I saw him in the window. It startled me, and it made me laugh. We love you, Mike. That is... <laughs> That that's, sounds terrifying. That's fucking insane. I'm trying to get assistance from their chat bot. It's not, it's not going well. <coughs> Who wants a Mike Lindell cutout? He has his own tab here. He, the, under Mike's products, it says Mike's books, Mike cutout, and Frank's speech products. <laughs> Look, I started this with like kind of fucking around, and I said, uh, how the hell does the tooth replacement shit work? I didn't get that. Try rephrasing your question. Start over. Let me talk to Mike. I didn't get that. <laughs> I have a question about amazing temporary tooth. I didn't get that. I need assistance. I didn't get that. <laughs> Mitch, what the fuck? What's the point of your robot ass? All right. We've spent enough time on MyPillow.com. All right. <laughs> so, shout out Mike Lindell somehow. I don't even know how we got here. <laughs> we were talking about Rudy. That's oh, yeah. Code that. Rudy. Oh, blood clot. Blood, stop bleed. Please don't buy a cutout directly from him. Says yeah, somebody. yeah. I mean, I, right. it's true. I don't really want to give him any money. We'll get a bootleg. We'll get an aftermarket mic cutout. <laughs> yeah. Out. Yeah. Uh, Wendy Williams. I'm so sad to say, not only was her show canceled, they brutally erased all of her social media accounts. <laughs> They're trying to her Instagram her. page with two million followers gone. <laughs> gone, bro. <laughs> They're wiping her memory clean. You know, this was a write-up from last week. Um, are we sure it's not back on Instagram? I mean, I don't want it to be true, but... It wasn't Wendy's account. It was the show's account. Right. But still, why they've got to do her dirty like that? I, like she has a legacy. Yeah, I think that they... Well, the TV's out, Dan. Just Death don't want to monetize her stuff. Like, they don't want to give her money. So you think it was a bad breakup? Oh, Yeah. Really? They didn't even let her host the finale of her own show. I wonder why they were such being such punks about it. Also, on her Instagram page, there's a video of her, and she's talking about how like people don't want her to have her money, and and they're trying to keep her money away from her. So really? There's yeah, there's definitely. Do you think there's that. conservatorship going on? I, oh, there's no. something in the same genre, I think, at least. The final episode aired June seventeenth without her. Um, a source for OK Magazine claims the plan is to rename Wendy's official account to Sherry Shepherd. Thus, Sherry Sh oh that makes sense. Thus, Sherry Show will debut with millions of social media fans. Who's Sherry Shepherd? How's she going to replace Wendy Williams? She was on the um, she was on the View for a long time. Okay. Um. She's just been in the entertainment. This is Sherry. Oh, I recognize her. But does she? I wonder if she's going to have that Wendy William like sass, bro. Like death to all of them type shit. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She seems too nice. I don't know anything about her. But is she going to be having that blasting ass on camera vibe? Death to all of them vibe? Die! Clap if they should suffer. I don't doubt it. That was the magic that made William, Wendy yeah. great. Should she suffer? Clap if they should be um incarcerated. Clap if they should be burnt alive. <laughs> well, that's sad, you know. Well, she's starting a podcast. Oh, I hope she tells all. Let's. <laughs> I wonder if we could get her. Let's get her. Have we reached out? Let's get Wait, her. have we reached oh. out? Yeah, I've tried. I'll keep trying. Yo, everybody, we need Wendy. We need that podcast collab. Yo, we need Wendy Williams on our show right fucking now, bro. Starting a podcast, you know she's going to be doing promo. And just show her the, uh, the what we did with Howie Mandel. We put his ass on the map, dude. <laughs> Can do the same yeah, thing for made, her. Well. I made Howie, <laughs> if you're wondering. And also, like, the immediate aftermath of that wasn't <laughs> I'm just necessarily kidding. the best. I'm just kidding. 
but he does owe me uh, his whole career. Um, oh, how we responded. He said, thanks for making me a Teddy Fresh spokesman. <laughs> I don't get it. Because the posted, ad you posted. There's a oh, he saw that. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh, we love Howie. He's, uh, I love Howie. Funny. He's the man. <laughs> I just say you love you, Howie. So funny. Yeah, dude, that image is gonna live forever. It's fucking amazing. I mean, who could ever get away with posting a prolapse? Only Howie could get away with that, bro. If I posted that shit, I'd be done for. Yep. It was just so unexpected. <laughs> love that. Anyway, I guess that's about it, eh? Uh, yeah, we've been going three hours now. Oh, I do love this story. Tobuscus hanging with Kyle Rittenhouse. Is that a fucking nightmare or what? Tobuscus, the nightmare. fallen YouTuber, is hanging out for some godknown reason with Kyle fucking Rittenhouse with Nerf guns, like trying to make light of the fact that, you know, he killed two people. Douche. Like, what's the vibe here, bro? What are we What are we doing exactly? Building a nerf team with some random people I ran into on the sidewalk. Who's in? Good to see this kid is off the hard stuff and onto nerf. On an unrelated note, one of these guys has a video game coming out. Rittenhousegames.com. What are the odds? So, so he's there to promote Kyle Rittenhouse, the famous video game producer. What he's known? The man famous for literally killing two people. Uh, super stoked on his video game. Thanks, Tobiscus. Bro, what is wrong with you, dog? Is this a paid thing? Even if it is, it's still weird. I can't still get over the fact that, like, conservatives made this guy into a hero. It just blows my mind still. Yeah. Dude, this is so fucking tasteless, bro. Even if what you did was self-defense, right? Like, how fucking tasteless is this? Just, if you did it for self-defense, why would you want to be associated with all this shit about, like, yeah, I fucking guns, and I killed two people who had it coming. It was, so, it was like, what, do you want to distance yourself from all this shit? What are the comments? I hope they're horrible. The comments on the YouTube video are pretty good. <laughs> Oh, there's a YouTube video? Yeah. Oh, link yeah. me. It's, it's, it's in, in the, the doc, time yeah. stamped. Uh, all this. He talks about him like he's a hero, yeah. Why y'all don't like Kyle? Um, well, he did kill two people. And now he's being made a hero, a poster boy of killing protesters for no reason. Well, not for no reason, but he went there looking for trouble. How the gods have fallen. No kidding. L. Bro, this is nuts, dude. What's next? Uh, who's that dude? The black dude who killed the Mexican kid? George. Uh, oh, Zimmer, uh, Zimmerman. Zimmerman, yeah. He's, he's Mexican. He's, you have it backwards. Zimmerman is Mexican? Yeah. Oh, I thought. Oh, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Zimmerman. Well, who's, what's next? A collab with Zimmerman video game? <laughs> <laughs> Didn't he? End up going to jail for something else. Like I wouldn't have got be surprised right at all. <laughs> um, yo, I didn't know he made a video. Let's watch that. Where is it? It's right here. Right where? In the dock, right under. Oh, my bad. It was a Discord. Hello, dude. What the fuck, Tobiscus? What the fuck, bro? Is this sponsored? Let me see. My thoughts on Kyle, the media, our culture, and your mom. All right. Once again, audience. Uh, hope I didn't lose you yesterday because <clears throat> I posted a picture of uh, me being with this. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, you think you pause Kyle for a second? He says the P word. Is that okay? P word? P U S S Y? The P E D O word. P E D O? Mm. Wet ass P word. Toby does. He says pedo? Mm -hmm. well, he's, but says it. I think you could say pedo. In what context, though? <laughs> we did twice just now. 
all the time on this show. Yeah, we yeah, say it all the time on this show. With, and I really wanted to meet oh, this kid. Matters. I was Just saying. so excited. I wanted to meet him ever since I saw the, the whole video where he uh, unfortunately took the lives of a couple convicted pedophiles. Um, oh, he's celebrating. Wait, can I get some volume? Wait, Tobiscus is out here celebrating our boy. I wanted yeah. to meet this kid. I was so excited. I wanted to meet him ever since I saw the... The whole video where he uh, unfortunately took the lives of a couple convicted pedophiles. Yeah, uh, did he know that they were that uh, when he killed them? Right. It's so fucking dumb, dude. Like, oh, he was a bad guy, so it doesn't matter that he killed them. Well, what the fuck? He didn't even know a shit about them when he shot them. Dumbass freak. Tobiscus, you fucking animal. Sweaty looking. He's on some shit for sure. Um, and he didn't go looking for that. Yes, he did. Didn't he? He literally did. Yeah, he literally did. He literally did. <laughs> they attacked him first. It's not like he's like a pedophile hunter. You, people should stop praising him for hunting pedophiles. He didn't even know. He didn't even know they were pedophiles. He probably thought they were black. No. Well, he is down the meme hole bad. What? Until Viscus is down... Dude, didn't you just make videos for kids? What the fuck? He, this is he on literally, the... yeah, he says in this video, like, I assume <coughs> I, I, like, raised this kid, but I guess he didn't know who I was. But he, like, assumed that this kid was a big fan of his. And Dude, that he had, like, learned this is on his him. main channel, or, well, his second channel, I guess. What the fuck? And he opens his video with this shit, too. Like, oh, my God. No, he, uh, he knew they were white. And, uh, you know, they were, uh, you know, they were maybe burning down the city. And there was no police. And this kid in this age where we were raised on video games. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is actually the real one that was, the one we saw was photoshopped. But yeah, that's uh, Kyle Rittenhouse. Uh, right. He's crying. So we love that for him. Goes out there, he's like, you know what? I'm going to go on a mission and I'm going to help people. <coughs> better than the Better than the alternative. I'm going to go on a mission and I'm going to loot Walmart and then I'm going to burn it down and then I'm going to burn down the building next to it and then I'm going to beat up an old lady and then I'm going to... Wait, I'm he's gonna... still doing the Tobiscus voice for kids about, like, killing protesters? <laughs> Let's go! Tobiscus, this is good content! <laughs> he used to do this voice for his dog and it was like the, the kids loved it. He's still doing the Tobiscus voice. I'm on a loot Walmart, and then I'm going to burn it down, and then I'm going to burn down the building next to it, and then I'm going to beat up an old lady, and then I'm going to, and then I'm going to, and then, and then I'm going to. How funny is it that we love, we, like, we, I mean, America, or whatever, the world. You know, we, it's like, it's like we love heroes in movies, but when it comes to, like, police officers, we're like, they're not heroes, that's their job. What the fuck, dude? This is crazy. <laughs> Dude, Tobiscus is like a fucking police simp bootlicker. This is awesome, man. This is nuts. Wait, the comments are good? Yeah. I s Holy shit. I swear, it seriously feels like our original timeline merged with a different <laughs> one. I convinced him being on the Annoying Orange show somehow pipelined him into this. <laughs> Back in my day, Toby sang songs about nuggets and biscuits, how the times have changed. I genuinely feel like I have schizophrenia watching this. No shit. I think the Riddler is behind all of this. Could have sworn I took my pills this morning. I feel like I'm in a fever dream. I'm dreaming this isn't happening. Tobiscus, the same man who let me know I could not afford his diamond sword, has not, re has not released a video about Kyle Rittenhouse. I've died, and this is what comes next. The child in me couldn't fathom what kind of timeline we're currently living in. Remember that this dude was in the annoying orange TV show for his Cartoon Network. Oh my God. Toby went from entertaining me for years as a kid to comparing Kyle Rittenhouse to Batman. Yeah, we have that timestamp. Dude, this is nuts. Oh, this is the like dislike ratio. Well, that's good. Oh shit. This is crazy that he put this out there. He's not just a conservative. He's like a boot-licking cop simp fucking death to protesters. I mean, he's doing a heroic thing. He's protecting you. <laughs> you turn up a little bit for Nobody me? Nobody likes police officers, right? Uh, 
except RoboCop. He's very, very cool. Uh, Judge Dredd, he's pretty sweet. Anyways, but the real life ones, pff, nobody likes those. Okay, they're you know they're they're great, but you know there's some bad ones. Whatever, but that's just uh, that's how it is. People, some people suck, and then you you fire those people. Bro, the police is like corrupt all the way through. There's no accountability. You can fucking kill someone in cold blood, take a two week vacation, and come back on the force, or just get transferred to another department like a pedophile priest. Come on, bro. There's systematic issues with the police. You can't just dismiss it like there's a few bad apples. And uh, get the better ones, and then you fund the, the, the make the people better. You want to fund them. You don't want to defund them. Uh, so, but it's it's just funny that we don't, for some reason, somehow people stop looking at it as like the guy that you call to help you, to save you from crazy criminals with blue hair or whatever. Nah, blue hair is, nah. Do what do the blue haired people do? They just. Did you fucking even. Nah. Look, what is this? Wait, you didn't, didn't even think like. There. I don't even. Eh, nah. If you're going to put something like this out, you should at least edit or think yeah. about it. Like, this is a big thing to come out as. Blue hair? Was that a social justice warrior thing? Scream. They just, uh. <laughs> they just. Right? I don't know if they're actually violent. I'm totally, I have no idea what I'm talking I love blue hair, by the way. It's cool. And I love hair dye and all that. It's, it's awesome. But uh, people with blue hair are crazy. But uh, no. Um, <clears throat> what was I talking about? We love. Dude, are you serious right now? Just edit it or something, bro. This is shocking. Batman. You know, we love this hero. He goes out. The city's burning down, Gotham's burning, <coughs> and he puts himself right in the line of danger, right? We teach our kids to do that by making those movies. And you blame Kyle, a child, for going out when he was asked by his friend's family because they had a business, they, uh, someone burned and shot up their other uh, location or something the day, the day before, a couple days before. This is the last thing they had. They had nothing left. They, they was like, I don't think that's true. I think he went there from a different town. He heard that there was some store that was like being righted. I don't even think he was near the store. Yeah. He was literally provoking these people. Uh, he was walking around with a fucking AR, mm -hmm. just intimidating them. And also. And begging for some shit to happen. Side note, but Batman doesn't kill people. He doesn't use weapons either. He right. refuses to use guns. Right. Yeah, and he, I don't think he ever kills people. No, he doesn't. That's like his whole quote. <coughs> yeah, he, he's above that shit. Also, it's not a real... Also, he's not real. Right. <laughs> right. That was very funny. Sorry to break also, that too. Oh, it's like well, you realize... It's a comic. It's actually just a comic book. Wait, though. isn't it like... Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, it's a... He's like, you guys love Superman, but hate written Kyle, or Kyle Rittenhouse. Explain that shit, <laughs> liberals. <laughs> Could you maybe, I don't know, defend it or something? Like, you know, you're a, you're like a trained, what was he, a medic, boy scout? Friggin', this like a baby, this is like, this guy was <laughs> training for this moment. He's like, I'm gonna help people. That's, you know, believe that or not. But, you know, <clears throat> they asked him to defend it. He comes up there, puts out a fire, a literal dumpster fire. Puts out a fire in a dumpster that a bunch of uh, Riddler, you know, from Batman. Wish someone would put out this dumpster fire sitting in the car making this video right now. Thanks, Zap. Got my, what, can I get Woo. a drum roll or something? Uh, Work uh, with me. Work with me, people. Bingo. <laughs> Bingo. Hello. <laughs> what is that called? The drum thing? A something shot? Rim shot. Oh, yeah, Rick shot. Rim. <laughs> Rick shot, people. Rim. Rim. Rim job. Oh, rim shot? Rim job. Oh. Rim shot. I'm a walking rim shot. Work with me. And like gas lit psychopaths burned, uh, uh, set fire to this dumpster to push it into a gas station to blow it up. You weren't there. I wasn't there. It's hard to understand. You have to imagine that's happening down your street. It's not his street. He that's didn't not live there. safe. Yeah, he didn't even live there. That's <laughs> especially when he literally went like, there with an the AR looking for trouble, bro. He didn't even live there, bitch. For the police. Somebody said he's literally choking on his nasal drip. Dude, he is on some crazy yeah. shit. He looks <laughs> yeah, so sweaty and gnarly right now. Something, what drug makes you angry? Speed. Uh, oh, speed? Uppers. 
Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, speed makes you super sweaty, super... Dude, that'd be crazy if he was doing speed. It's awesome. Love that. A racist. And you're like, most of the people that they protect are minorities. And in a lot of the areas, a lot of specifically like Chicago, a lot, a lot of these cities, oh my God. it's mostly minority police officers. And you'd still, you still... So ask the people in Chicago how they feel about the police. They're there to protect them. These blue-haired, crazy people screaming at black police officers, calling them racist. Why don't you go to Chicago and ask the people there how they feel about them and see what they say? Yeah, I'm sure the Chicago Police Department is one as a stellar uh, reputation. Chicago Police Department, Dan, have they had any um, controversy? Oh, no, they have a <laughs> sterling reputation. The, you're talking about the Chicago Police Department that ran uh, secret black sites where they would kidnap people and uh -huh. uh, without charge. Oh, they would do that. Yeah, somebody should tell Tavisca's that because he thinks there's here they're fucking saints and it's only blue haired people that hate them. <laughs> so that's this is the age we live in, where uh, people really hate uh, hated uh, Kyle. Wait, he said that the Chicago Police Department is mostly minority police. What percentage of Chicago PD is white? I'm curious, or can we get that stat? Let's just fact check our boy Tobiscus here. For uh, being attacked because he went out there with a gigantic weapon. You know that's thirty-one percent. I wouldn't have done that. What's that? Oh, never mind. I'm sorry. Let me. Let me. It's fifty percent white, twenty-five <laughs> percent Hispanic, twenty-one percent African American, three percent Asian American slash Pacific Islander. So it's not majority. I mean. No, the majority would be white. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, but I wouldn't run into a burning building either. I mean, I, as a job. I mean, I, you know, we'll I don't think know. I've never ran into a situation. burning building. And neither have you. We don't know how we would act, but we have been raised that uh, we've been taught that heroes we don't, are. We don't know how thing. we would act. But the how media says well, there's no such thing. BLM protest? What? I, I feel like I wouldn't have shot people at a protest. I mean, if I. If I, I can guess. <clears throat> Minda. Several protests, I, I managed to not shoot anyone. So, Right. Well, I would certainly want to want to provoke, like, a huge mob with the AR, especially when the police bet, like, say, don't go there. Right. On this countdown of the seven most corrupt police cities in history, Chicago's number three. Oh, come Chicago. on. That can't be true. People, everyone loves Chicago police except the blue-haired freaks. <laughs> the Wait, what's number one? Number one the, is... What is this countdown? Is this like Yeah, a, countdown. Top your, most corrupt. Top, top ten. <laughs> New York Count <City>. Mojo. <laughs> what, what'd you got? New York City's number one. Shout out. Number two, Miami. Greatest city in the world, baby. Number four, Los Angeles. Let's go. <laughs> LAPD are very young. We got to bump those numbers up. We can't be beaten by Chicago and New York. Look, we acknowledge that there's some brave and good police officers, but to just write it off like the police don't need to be reformed from the is, is, is ludicrous. I mean, come on. There's literally no accountability. <laughs> Someone said Tobiscus is 100% subscribed to Paul Joseph Watson. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's not such thing as heroes. They're just doing their job. They don't care about you. Maybe. Maybe they like the power trip. But you want police officers to be powerful and you want them to be competent and confident and respected and no accountability and unless they don't deserve it respect is something you have to earn and if you lose it goodbye dude uh, what the so, fuck are you even saying and it's, you know it's hard it takes a long time and, and this is the where it begins is you instill values of a person that you respect in other people and kids you know and kids are the most important people uh, because they are the future, and if we don't want the future to suck, they got to make the kids not suck. Uh, and that's why I personally, I think I feel... And that's why I think hordes of children should get all get their armed AR-15s. I want to send a hordes of children army to intercept all of these uh, rioters and protesters. I'm calling all kids between the age of 14 and 17 to pick up arms. And meet me this Saturday outside Planned Parenthood. Mm. <laughs> Too much? Uh, it's a hypothetical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. you're good. Feel maybe extra responsibility for this? because. <coughs> Go ahead, Dan. <laughs> oh, 
I have to admit, I, I don't know jack shit about Tabisco. Yeah, he had a I've huge never. scandal, but there's lots of it. Uh, yeah, so, but I saw people saying that he had already been canceled. For oh, yeah. Oh, he got fucking. Massive. He was. Dude, like, he got bombed on, yeah. dude. Yeah. He got absolutely bodied. He was like one of the biggest names on YouTube at one point. He was up there. Yeah, but his ex, April Fletcher, says. Uh, Made several allegations against the YouTuber, including. Careful with what you're. He was addicted to drugs. Use that, the, 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 yeah, I got you. He had cheated on several of his former partners, including Fletcher, and that he drugged and R worded her in February 2013. So, cool. Awesome. And then um, I remember this Jacqueline Glenn, another of his ex girlfriends, posted a response video. She claimed that Turner had affairs, and that she thought the R-word allegations were possible, she personally believed that they were untrue. What? Why would you put that out there? Uh, okay, whatever. You know, I saw Kyle, obviously, as an egomaniac. I assumed he watched all my videos growing up. I was like, I raised this kid. But then I talked to him and he's like, Tobias, I never heard of you. I was like, oh, well, I don't, I don't like you. No. Uh, so if I didn't raise him, who did I raise? Oh, no. The vi- I hate to break it to you, buddy, but I don't think many people remember your ass. Sorry. 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 Pilot, gaslit, Riddler army? Um... Nah, I didn't really raise anybody. I just made some silly videos. But th- that's the thing. I was looking up at one point in my uh, career, if you would call it that, uh, thousands and thousands of hours, thousands of years of humanity, consciousness, was, I was soaking it up. What the fuck does that have to do with Kyle Rittenhouse, bitch? You are on a drug-fueled rant right now. You literally can't even follow one conscious thread. Anyway, Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero, and I raised kids. They used to watch me thousands of hours, Jack, with the hairy legs and a big old cock. <laughs> I did crack with the prostitute, got in the elevator, man, took a picture of my cock, hairy legs. That, 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 that. <laughs> I'm riding that bicycle and she fell to the side, my cock too heavy, Jack. You ever ride with the third leg? I was going to put him in the uh, foot. <laughs> For someone that hates Joe Biden, probably, he sure acts a lot like him and his son. I was absorbing it. <coughs> Waking human life. Thousands of years. Well, maybe it's hundreds. Let's just say thousands. Were, were spent watching me play video games. Or, or, or whatever, you know? And in those video games, I did my best. I was, I was, trying, to, I was trying to project a positive... Hey, Kyle Rittenhouse is a hero. Just like me, Jack. I used to play video games for kids. They watched me for hours, man. With the hair legs and the ice cream and the babysitters. Come on, man. What a stupid son of a bitch. <laughs> Come on, fat. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, it's kind of, he was one of the biggest YouTubers in the world for a while. Like, he mm. was like dominating. He yep. was like on top of PewDiePie. He was the shit, mm-hmm. dude. Damn. Yeah, he was up there. You don't know? Jack, you didn't know that? I, PewDiePie. I got to tell you, I only really started paying attention and knowing YouTubers when I started working for you. Oh. I was never, like, on YouTube that much. So a lot of these, like, older school YouTube people, like, when we first started talking about the whole Dobrik uh, saga, yeah. I had no idea who the vlogs were. Oh, that's interesting. I've never heard of them. Yes. Yeah, so, um, but he was a huge deal, actually. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's been canceled for a long fucking time now, but he was... A huge deal, man. Hmm. It was in 2016 when he got canceled. Oh, shit. It was that long ago? I know. It seems like it was more recent, but... Right, so if he got canceled in 2016... What? Yeah, 2016 is when the first allegation came out, and then just the domino sort of started to fall after that. Whoa. And he was, like, big deal. He was doing commercials for, like, Hot Pockets and shit. Mm -hmm. You you should pull up some of the content. It's crazy. (laughs) Pull up one of those Hot Pocket ads. I just want to show Dan what the fuck he missed. (laughs) <laughs> the quality content. Dude, it was nuts, man. Oh, yeah, he used to make music and... The Angry Orange, he was part of that. Most people are probably <laughs> familiar with that. Yeah, the, unfortunately, I'm familiar with that. 
Yep. And uh, I was trying to not Super swear because I wanted kids to be allowed to watch it. If they, you know. I didn't want to swear, man. But this kid with the gun, he killing people. That's a hero, man. Long he don't say no curse words and shoot bang, bang, kill him dead, man. Pedophiles and shit. Kill him, man. <laughs> I tell you, no cursing, though. Go boy. to Joe. 30330. <laughs> oh, man. I love it. It's so awesome. Yeah, here it is, Dan. This one's for you. Hey, if you guys don't know who Tobiscus is, he used to do these trapped in a commercial series, but he would actually, they are just actually ads. He probably got, was banking. And back then, 2013, 5 million views. That was insane. That was insane. You guys were just starting out around then, right? <coughs> Honestly, I don't even remember. Probably, yeah. Check this shit out. You're going to love it. 1 p.m. is still in bed, hearing singing in his head. Look at the clock, he's late for a job, he'll lose soon at this rate. Trip on the sheet at the floor, start crawling. Look at the phone, your boss is calling. With that. Go to the kitchen, look for snacks in the cabinet. But there's just plates, that's where he keeps Dude. the plates, he knows that. Shut up! Open up the freezer to get some snackages. Ooh, hot pocket sandwich packages. What is this, a Hot Pockets commercial? Why is the music so disproportionately epic? There's a force field on the freezer till he reads a label, then he can grab the box and go to the table. Yeah, you get the idea. It's great stuff. Um, members go up. I have gotten a hold of them. You did? Mm -hmm. Who are they? Let's find out. I asked for proof and I want to know definitive proof. I want to know are they rich? Are they have like a good job? Like how do they afford it? Well, I think they're the watching right now, so they should be hearing. <laughs> yeah, all I that, just want to know who's this mystery person. Hey, girlfriend, dance. Dance. Oh, yeah, this dance. is the voice I was telling you about when he was like, go kill the go kill the protesters called Rattenhouse. He does this, like, cute dog voice. Or I'll give you away, Griffin. He's nervous. I was just casting an infomercial <laughs> for Hot Pockets Limited Edition, and I think there's a sufficient amount of how did that involved. So I wanted to post it here. Roll the clip, Steve. Hey, Steve Bargain here with new Hot Pockets Limited Edition Chili Sauce Cheese Dog and Barbecue Recipe Bacon Burger. The new easy way to bring that authentic barbecue flavor home. <laughs> I'd be castrated if I posted a video like this. <laughs> I posted a video for my own video game and people wanted to fuck wanted me to die. That shit, oh yeah. That was, right. That was so wild. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking that was brutal. And honestly, it was a fun game. I thought it was fun. They could have yeah. done better, but like overall it was pretty fun. Yeah. yeah. I have a mobile game, by the way, guys, if you didn't know. <laughs> Ball rider. Riding them balls. So fast forward to here, motherfuckers smoke. Pounds of crack later. Talk about them hair legs. And I don't, <coughs> uh, I don't like swearing. I think it's like kind of a, you know, we should reserve those swear words for where, when, when we're really, really mad. We should only use swear words when we're really mad. Bro, you need to fucking die using that voice right now. I mean, it's so embarrassing. It just hurts my soul that this guy's ranting about killing protesters and then talking in this cutesy voice. I mean, it's just, it doesn't work, dude. I don't like it. You need to die, buddy. You need to fucking eat some cyanide pills and die. You need to dig your own grave and bury yourself in it. Um, I mean, it's funny. There's, you know, it's funny, cuz. I don't know. Maybe I'll do it one day. Fun! Not right now. Almost. A little uh, sound effect there. A little boop. A little bone moment. That was me. Oh, that was you. Oh, I thought he put uh, that I was in. like, so there was some editing. <laughs> <laughs> swear words for where, where, when we're really I don't know why but this is the most watched part right here well we're about to find out really mad it's this here part we, we should only use swear words when we're very mad <laughs> it's that part we already watched um, we should only use swear words when we're very mad but kill those fucking protesters Kyle kill them till they're dead those pedophiles <laughs> I mean it's funny There's, you know, it's funny cause I don't know maybe I'll do it one day fun <coughs> not right now almost um <laughs> Anyways, dude, it was really nice to meet get you some skills. sleep, bro. I don't Killing know man. right now. Okay, so the reason I really I was so excited, well, just a, it's all a coincidence. I mean, I said that uh, in the post. This guy's I, such an egomaniac. He's here to to hype up Kyle Rittenhouse. He's literally spent seven minutes of thirteen sitting in his car ranting about how he used to entertain kids. Mm -hmm. What a fucking was, lunatic. So Sounds like I was joking, but kind of, kind of not. Because, uh, you know, out of nowhere, for no reason, 
my buddy is like, oh yeah, I'm working with this guy, Kyle Rittendale. So I'm like, oh my God, I would love to meet meet this kid and see how how he's doing, how, <laughs> what, what he was feeling, kind of get a sense of him, you know, just to see, because people are so emotional. They have such strong opinions about people and they were so quick to judge, which uh, we got to learn to not do that, especially not if the What about blue-haired you- people, bro? What about protesters? <laughs> you were just saying are good point. worthy of dying. Yeah, good point. <laughs> you you just c- condemn them to death, bro. And what have you learned about them? You to think something. You should think the opposite just to be safe. You should be like, okay, I'm going to be the opposite and just uh, I'll watch you guys do your little dance from here and then see if you change your mind. Just don't start good out plan. believing what they Leave say. Leave nothing. Their the goal is not... They don't have your best interest at heart, and they don't. They don't Dude, want he, he's things on. to be better. They Yo, Tabiscus is straight up queuing on. He, I have no question. This guy's ready to give it all up for Q. Five star Q general. Where we go, where Tabiscus goes, we all go, or whatever. Wait, he never meets Kyle. He, no, not in the video. What the fuck? Yeah, video. Yeah. This is the whole video. It's him ranting uh, unhinged. Yep. Uh, 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 manic rant i thought he was gonna go meet him no well he does he doesn't but film it no what the fuck i was waiting for him to go do something his ass just sit in the car the whole time yeah i came for a vlog Dude, his- oh my god i feel like i got conned into watching this shit i'm not finishing this shit <laughs> look at all of his recent videos are like um Crack fueled rants from my car. That's awesome. Holy shit. Look at those views. These views are fucking scary. This guy was the king, man. He yeah, was the king. Wow. Well, to be fair, his the effort he's putting into these is li- as a as close to zero as you can get. Is God an a hole? <laughs> Talk more slow like cheating. Cancer can eat my balls, but I hope it doesn't. Do you like July 4th? Wait, he's on TikTok? Uh, now I'm just going down a Tabiscus hole here. Um, where's his TikTok? People like this are always big on TikTok somehow. Man, this guy's so H and he has a spread shirt. Oh, it doesn't work. I have his TikTok. Yeah, give me that shit. I want to see what the fuck he's up to on TikTok. <laughs> I just sent him Discord. Tobiscus. 250K. Tobiscus with the hairy legs. Yeah, you know, yesterday I made a video. It was really positive. I think it was a little too positive, honestly. So, yeah, you know, yesterday I made a video. It was really positive. I think it was a little too positive, honestly. So, today I just wanted to kind of balance that out with uh, just a video, a negative video. I want to say something negative about every place in the world. Uh, you know, let's see to the continents. Let's do that again. Okay, let's start, uh, start with Asia. <laughs> Asia. <laughs> Come on. Four letter word? You have the biggest continent in the world and you only have four letters to the word? In Come English. On. Get out of friggin' town. There you go, Asia. Okay, Australia? <laughs> what what are those you got what are those Utes you guys have? Those friggin' car trucks? Like they want to be El Caminos? <laughs> U-T-E-S. Look them up. Everybody else, look them up. <laughs> Dude, I mean, yeah. No, what, you expect someone to actually want to watch this? I mean, this is like found footage of someone rant, who rants but to himself, you know? <laughs> Holy shit, Tobiscus. That's scary. Yeah, this one has a lot of views, 80,000. America. Many of us just found out a couple crazy things. Not only did we have our own Stonehenge in Georgia, the Georgia Guidestones, but some knucklehead blew him to smithereens a couple days ago. So none of us even had a chance to visit. There's also a third thing, it's maybe a little more alarming, is on the side of each of these tablets was a game plan to maintain the Earth's population of humans responsibly at a number under 500 million people. Which brings a couple questions to my mind, is how do you responsibly drop the population of humans by 7 billion? That's a bit of a drop. And uh, two, more importantly, if we only have 500 million people, is that still enough people for you to Why is he do- shooting at this angle? Like, it's so, so the steering wheel on the right yeah, side? Yeah, it's such a forced angle. Is he trying to flex his Tesla? <laughs> like, why are you talking to your back seat, dude? Sustain a respectable career by posting twerk videos on TikTok. I hope so. I hope it's so. It's a very vine we'll angle, I feel like. Hmm. 
Oh, hi there. Didn't see you in my back seat. My hair legs. All right, that's it. I don't know what the fuck's going on with Tobiscus, but uh, God help that man or whatever. I don't know what he needs. He needs AA. He needs a sponsor. He needs some milk. Needs some milk, Jack, and an ice cream. <laughs> ice cream cone. You ever had an ice cream on a hot summer day, Jack? Oh, God, this looks crazy. Uh, the audio was removed. I mean, it's crazy. Sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. I've never met someone who thinks so much like me. Oh, it's a, it's a, okay. All right. There you have it, guys. Tell this. <laughs> All right. Boy. The biggest YouTuber, one of the biggest YouTubers that ever lived. I got your word straight, Jack. From uh, Hot Pockets to Kyle Rittenhouse. The journey of a lifetime. Oh, it's an advertisement? So wait, was he actually paid for this? It says... I don't know if... No, I think he just paid. did this for love of the game. Because hmm. he said... Bro, you know Kyle Rittenhouse's game slaps hard, though. We should try it. You know? Definitely. Dude. Want to watch on. the trailer for it? Yeah, 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 yeah. I... Oh, my God, dude. Dude... Why the headshot? Why the headshot? Dude, you are so fucked, bro. Your life is fucked. You're being used so hard by all these conservative fucking freaks. Your life is so fucked, dude. So Kyle Rittenhouse made a game. Five bucks, right? Or something like that. You might re look on the bottom. You might you might know me as the guy who was recently acquitted. No, 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 no. That's not what we're charges and the Kenosha. You might know me as a guy who was recently acquitted from all charges in the Kenosha self-defense case. From the very beginning, I did nothing wrong. But that didn't stop the media from smearing my name. It's time to fight back against the fake news machine. This is why I'm launching the Kyle Rittenhouse fake news turkey shoot video game. Super cool, dude. The media is nothing but a bunch of turkeys with nothing better to do than push their lying agenda and destroy innocent people's lives. Oh, so go yeah. to RittenhouseGame.com and pre-order the game now and help me fund the lawsuits to stop these fake news turkeys. yeah, turkey. bro. It's a fake news turkey shoot. Got a laser gun going pew, pew, pew. Follow my suits. What's up, We about to bank up the fake news. Go to RittenhouseGame.com. They want you to pre-order that shit? Pre-order now. What the fuck, dude? What? Looks lit. What? Can't wait. Oh, my God. Poor Kyle. Can't wait. Well, let's see. You can donate to Kyle. Um, This is like a good Trumpian thing. Like, pay me to sue them. It's time to hold the media accountable, Jack. You can send me money on PayPal or Coinbase. I have an update. Go ahead. Sorry, this is off topic, but we are in the background of the Ace Family official video. Yep, I just. Oh, okay. let's now go! Timestamp, timestamp, timestamp. Okay. We may be in it. We may be in it. Fuck more. James Webb. This is the real shit. Yeah, we may be in it more, but this is, I see me and Dan and Cam on the swing right here. So, do, are they calling anyone out in this, or is it just like a fun? I think AB's just like going through it right now. I'm going through it, yeah. I was just looking for us. So wait, where are you guys? Go, go back. Oh, back. It's copyright. Wait, stop it, you said? No, I said, is this copyright music? Oh. Could I'll, just mute, I'll, it. I'll just mute it. Get ready, here it comes. Pause it. Wait, wait. You're, you're on the swing? I'm on the swing. Let it go again. Wait, keep going. And one more. One more. Pause. Is that you here? That's Dan in the back in the red. And the back swing on the... Wait, where are you guys? Oh, you're... <laughs> he's looking at the... He's not looking at the foreground. He's looking at the background. <laughs> Wait, you're not on the swing? We're on the he's swing. He's in the back. Right, background. right here. Look at my monitor. Oh, you guys are in the back? You're not even in the foreground? Wait, hold the phone. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. <laughs> How'd you even spot yourself on that? It's like... 
You can't even see because shit. I, that's where we were screaming at them. Okay, so so is this you guys here? Yes. yes. Yeah. So that's UAB right back here? Yes. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So that was the videographer. Yep. Yeah. Wow. But it wasn't like I mean, a... He was rolling around with the He wasn't trying really. to expose you guys. So here you guys go. Here's Dan and AB. We made it, guys. I'm AB, this... too. Yeah, Cameron. Yeah, that's Cam. And Wait, where's Camely? Yeah. Oh, myself there's Camely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And th- is this you, Olivia? Yeah. Yep. yep. Oh, shit, dude. The whole fam's here. And this is Sam? No. No. Uh, oh, yeah. She got that I was inside hair. waiting in the... Oh, you got... Thing. Yeah. Dude. Looking to see if we're in it anymore. That's what I'm checking. Nope. Dude, it kind of looks fun when they post it, man. It looks like it was happening, doesn't it? Yeah. It doesn't Yo, look. Yo, was. was that that many people? No. Uh, well, this looks like it's at night, so it would have been after we left. We left right before sundown, so. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, wait, again, I want to hear what they have to say. Ace family, as you can see, it's the next day. We just want to take a moment to thank all of you beautiful Ace family members again you guys. for coming through and showing right. so much love and support. You're welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you guys so for welcome. Our hearts. Thank you. We truly, thank truly you. are very thankful for all of you. I'm going to drop a like. <laughs> you guys. I just want to say that leading up to the event, obviously we you know, started planning this months ago. And we live in a time where people aren't really doing events like these, if not ever. I feel like... We're living in a time where people don't want to leave their homes. People are afraid. Um, there's, you know, terrible things happening on the news and, you know, things that are being shared across the world every week. Um, there was just something that happened a couple of days ago. I don't know. I just feel like I'm so grateful for every single person who came to our event. No idea what who- she's referring to. There you go. There's so many things. Ace family. Yes. I hope they see our video. You know, they might not just because from the title and thumb, they'll probably assume <laughs> it's just hate, a, nothing yeah. but like just but somebody's got to yeah. tell them that we loved it. Like well, the words got to get out to yeah, them. Yeah, there will be like a highlight clip. They'll definitely, <laughs> they'll definitely see it. They'll see it. Yeah, they'll somebody's got to tell them. OK, contact us, McBrooms. We want we want that interview. Thanks, everyone, for watching. You guys can suck a fat donut. I'm going to okay. suck a fat donut on uh, Wednesday. Yep. A big old oh, prolapse word. donut. No. Yeah, can we make a donut that looks like a like Howie's prolapse anus? Sam, you're nodding Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. Can you do that? Oh, yes. Bro. Yes. Try Let's to make go. it look like the prolapse yeah. anus, and I'll suck it. Done. Can it be Joe? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sam, sometimes, sometimes I get mad. Sometimes <laughs> I get mad. Why do you get mad? We're gonna look at that all day, bro, and then we're gonna watch you <laughs> I'm eat, gonna it. eat it. Well, we can't show it, but at least we can show a donut. I Who says we can't show a donut? Yeah, it's just, just a, donut. a donut. Yeah. I'm going to eat it, bro, and you're going to eat rose. it, too. You're going to have a bite of it. Fine. Well, I'll take a bite of the fat donut. Yeah, we're all going to suck a donut. I'm going mm-hmm. I'm to I'm eat your ass. And uh, sorry, I know we're kind of wrapping up, but Austin shows how the vent looked prior to going inside. And it, <laughs> it looks a lot more packed before they moved the meet and greet inside. Legends, dude. Still boy, who's this? Yeah. Okay, so they do have their kids there. Oh, that's their kids? Yeah. No, be careful, be that's careful. what people okay. were saying is that earlier nice. in the day their kids were there. Gonna give this so were they family, meeting people one of these to them? I mean, I hope not. Yeah. Sign, but you just well, let's see. Huh? Yeah. Eight, eight family members were here first. Did a first one. What's your name, bro? First in line, damn. They're just real fans. What's up, player? Hey, you shook his hand like that. He dabbed him up too, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's just how homies do it. When you man. see him in person, it just comes to you. Because you know? he's a cool dude, yeah, huh? He just sends his aura. He fucks. Yeah, <laughs> he fucks. Definitely. Maybe he's dope. I got you guys some gifts. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know. These are our OG Ace members right here. They go everywhere we, we go. You. They always around. They're our number one support. We love yes. them so much. All right, so we made some adjustments and we decided to have the rest of the meet and greet indoors. Indoors in the pavilion. <laughs> Contacted FEMA and they've helped us. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We will be back on Wednesday with another banger because that's all we do, baby. Nothing but bangers. Right? Anything we'll have, else? We'll have a prolapse uh, anus donut for you to eat. Uh, we yes. Should, we should do um, our John Henry um, 
you know, man versus the machine, Cameron versus the oh, Dolly. That's so exciting for yeah. Wednesday. So we could do that on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, also, what we're going to have to talk about, um, I just saw some people mentioning in the chat, but did you see that news about the uh, the girl from um, Housewives Salt Lake City? Wait, which one? What happened? The one that you Jen brought Shaw. up. Jen Shaw, yeah. Jen Shaw, she was the one that got raided. Yeah, she just uh, today pled guilty. Uh to the whole thing and uh, yo is she going to jail probably oh, Maybe she gets that. yo that's it. crazy when i got a text you know so we'll have to we'll, we'll probably talk about that as well well we got to do that with Ela because she's super passionate about the housewives also we'll have right. to see how interesting I, it'll probably have some gold but you know that um aiden ross uh like i think right now is um interviewing uh cobra cobra tate Oh, I heard about that. Stream or whatever. So. Is it live right now? It might still it be live. Ended. I don't know. Oh, it just ended? Oh, it just hmm. ended, apparently. So, I mean, none of us have seen that, but if there's funny shit from that, we'll, we're, we'll probably pull that. We're going to have a very, very... Oh, my <laughs> God. 240,000 people just got exposed to Andrew Tate. Sponsored, sponsored by, by steak. steak. Sponsored by Steak. Bro, what the fuck, dude? Why are, I just... I, dude, why are you promoting this guy? He's a fucking human trafficker, dude. What the fuck is this? What you, were you going to say, Navy? No, I'm just saying we're going to have a very juicy week. We're already starting oh, to get some feedback okay. from some of the commentary channels, so <laughs> it's going to be good. I think, um, I think this is going to be good content for us, but bad outcome for the world. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Rich Lux responded, Lol, oh my God, H3, no worries. Peace and love. Ace Fest sucks. The house, girl. But you had to buy tickets to win the prize and had to pay. Yeah, no shit. You have to go to the event to get prizes. And you had to pay for parking. That part's true. That I don't that quite get true. that. But yeah. Uh, anyway, peace and love from Rich Rich uh, Lux, who was banned by Dan. Yeah, Warren hate from me <laughs> to you. <laughs> well, peace and love to Rich Lux, or as we called him affectionately, Rich uh, Reach, Reach Lux, the house. <laughs> Did you just learn about the house? No, no, I knew it. I, but we I, love it now. I liked him at first with the house thing. Mm. And then he did. I, I'm not going to say I don't like. I don't want any heat from any one of these guys. I love that. Just reach reach the house, girl. That's it. <laughs> Whoa, I can't wait to dig into this Aiden Ross, Andrew Tate shit, man. Fuck me. Wow. We are fucked. This world is so fucked. If you drink, if you drink sparkling water, you're a fucking pussy. <laughs> you let your girlfriend go out the house. What the fuck? <laughs> all right, that's enough. See you guys on Wednesday for another banger. Because that's all we do, baby. And you know it's going to be off the rails. You know it will be. Because that's the title of the show. <laughs> <laughs>